Good. Tuesday talk show with Royal. Tuesday talk show. Those gents Tuesday talk show with Royal. And not Royal. What's the other guy? Uh, Gabler. That guy. Gabler, that's that, who he is. That, that loser. That guy playing. <laughs> Minecraft. Uh, There's no Minecraft. There is Minecraft. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. It's like they want to be. Exact or something. It's like there was a joke to happen and you fucked it up. I did fuck it up. <laughs> fucked it up. I fucked it up is what I did. I did I'm it. sorry. All right. So I'm going to say, uh, hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Those Gents Talk Show Tuesday. All right? This is, this is officially beginning the recording of just the audio so that you don't have to hear a whole bunch of uh, video game stuff if you're not watching the video game. If you're watching on a VOD, thanks for joining us. We're happy to have you. Come to the live show and be one of our anonymous callers who will probably tonight just be our moms. So. <laughs> that's pretty sad. But uh, that's how day one. Do you think that's how like uh, day one of other talk shows work? What? Just random as fuck like this? No, I think they pre-script it and they set it up way better. That you have done here. No bullshit. You're a fucking liar. I've set it up well. Uh, what? <laughs> what you need to know? You're bullshit. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> what you need to know is that uh, it's all set. It's ready to go. Um, the chat is in the wrong spot on my thing. So let me fix all of that. Here's here's a here's a look at my beautiful. Is it though? Here's a look at my beautiful. Here's how uh, we have to conduct the talk show. Right. Is up close Hello. On the microphone. This is. When somebody joins the raid call, we'll just simply say. Those uh, We're now being joined by Ghost Talk. <laughs> Ghost Talk. <laughs> Ghost Talk. How are you doing this Tuesday afternoon? <laughs> and he'll be like, What? What? What is happening? <laughs> Hello, welcome ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Talk Show Tuesday. Uh, this is Royal and Gabbler. Gabbler and Royal. Juan Jose in the chat yeah, says, yeah, LOL. <laughs> so we've done our job. All right. One person left. We don't have to do anything else anymore. We're, we're good to go. Done. Uh, done. Wipe my hands of it. We're good. Bago Dix has joined the game. And taking too long to encode, skipping frames. All right. What? <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I'm smashing my... Uh, my my CPU into the ground with a hammer. It could be because I'm simultaneously live recording and also streaming and a bunch of other stuff. Shh, just you shut your mouth. I don't hear anything. Stop, 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 stop. What are you doing? Ah, 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 ah. Hold on, a zombie's eating me. Okay, we're good to go. Sorry, okay, Jesus. It, listen, Minecraft's going to be way too intense for you, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it needs to be like a card game or something. We need uh, to... Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft. Uh, what are you talking about? It's Minecraft. You're Minecraft. You have to get animated over a fucking zombie every single time. Right, I know. I was animated oh, because I was in a different you're window. Faking. You're a you're fucking... Faking. You're a fucking man. You're just faking. You can right. use a heart rate monitor so we know you're real. <laughs> so, uh... So, anyways, welcome to the welcome to the cast. Don't uh, be doing stupid shit because you're streaming. Don't be I'm, putting stupid shit down. What? Who does that? Yeah. I've never put yeah. anything stupid in this world. You're a fucking liar. I'm not. Or I'm sick of your tone. Off your Minecraft. I'm sick of your fucking build. tone. I'm sick of your tone. Don't you mm. fucking come over here. Don't you fucking come mm. over here. What you think about this? I'll do it. I got a plate and steel. I'll like you. All right. Well. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Stop. 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 I didn't even light you on fire. Stop. 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 I just hit you with it. That's all. All right. Uh. Hey. Fuck off. <laughs> right. So, anyways, uh, this is a talk show. No, I don't want to go, fucker. Huh? Fucker, fucker, listen, fucker. Fucker, 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 fucker. <laughs> listen. What do you think about this? What do you think about this, huh? What do I think about what? This. What? Look at this. Look at this right here. Right here. Oh, what do you think about this? Oh! 
We're gonna come at this. We're gonna come at this. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're a madman. You're a madman. You're a madman. Oh no! That's entirely your fault. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now. That's one thousand percent your fault. Fucking around. Okay. Well, my my inventory is full, so don't worry about me picking your shit up. No, except for whatever you just got. Barely created any real damage, though. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> what the fuck was that? How did it create? Oh, he came up with steps, didn't he? Yeah. All right, we have not talked about anything. <laughs> oh, we. <laughs> Man, the podcast of this is just gonna be fucking. What the fuck is happening? Stupid. All right. Uh, We're gonna have to so... edit. You best you left your carrots. Yeah, I'll get my carrots in a second. Hang, hang on. All right. So, anyways, uh, we're playing Minecraft. Again, if you're if you're listening to the podcast, you should join us on not the podcast. Hey, put the lamp back one up time. There. Can you put the lamp back up there? Put lamp back up where? I don't. Up man, up. I'm not. All right. So, anyways, uh, obviously, the obvious topic to talk about today is E3. If you stay away from me, everything what? will be fine. All right. Then we won't interact. Well, fuck! I'll game. stay away from you. It's fine. All right. Or do your shit somewhere. Uh. Oh my god, hang on. You know what we need to do is go to sleep. Let's go to sleep it's real quick. supposed to just be a visualization. Let's go to sleep just real quick. be a visualization. Yeah, it really shouldn't be, like, we shouldn't be this focused on this fucking game. This is the worst podcast, like, I'm at really this point, focused. this podcast. I was digging and then you you fucking, listen, shit. shut the fuck up. All right, uh, so let's talk about, let's talk about, we're there gonna start talking about, nearby. uh, E3. Dude, there's not monsters, I'm in the bed, come on. Uh, so first off. Okay, well, let me let me hop out of the game real quick because uh, I got need... it. All right, cool. You ready to go? Can I sleep? Can I? Are we sleeping? We're sleeping. All right. So, uh, oh my god. What the fuck? Over there? <laughs> oh god, <laughs> there's so much fucking stuff down there. Oh Dude, no. He fucking, he's got a sword. Oh my god. He has a sword. Yeah. I wonder if he got it from my dead body. No, he didn't. All right. So let's talk about real quickly. Let's go over the conferences that we've seen. All three of the uh, of the dev conference or the the console conferences are over. The companies behind the consoles have all talked about what they're gonna do and uh, and shown us the future. So I thought we'd start with talking about Microsoft and you know not levy any heavy opinions or anything. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, we'll levy heavy opinions. Uh, Forget the, this game. Let's D and D, bitches. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have enough people to D and D right now, and uh, we're doing some re thinking on our yeah. It's it's a Thursday thing, and we're doing some rethinking on how we're going to work with D and D. Uh, we might be doing. I am probably going to. I've been thinking about this. I didn't say anything, but here's the announcement live on this show. On this show. Uh, I've been thinking about. Uh, setting up a new campaign that's kind of like a side story campaign within mine. Right. That would involve just Royal and Billy. Okay, so we got that. And myself, of course. Yeah, that's that's a fun thing. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe getting to some... Uh, we might be doing some viewer D&D &D campaigns soon. Won't be Thursday, because Thursday is going to become power hour, at least for my campaign, if, if we keep... Uh, Gabler's campaign as Thursday, then that's whatever. But uh, yeah, so on the off, Thursday, yeah. yeah. So every other Thursday, we'll do Power Hour, uh, and then uh, and then we may be doing the Steampunk Pirates, and I might be doing a thing where uh, we'll just we'll we'll figure it out. It, it's it's all to come. Uh, nothing's nothing's set in stone yet, but uh, so so cool stuff going on there. Except for what I just said, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you said maybe blah, 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 so. Uh, I'm talking about the, uh, my campaign still going. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's see, where are we from here? So, let's talk about, let's talk about conferences. Let's talk about, let's talk about. Please, pro said. Uh, let's talk about Microsoft conference. Did you watch? Have you watched the full thing yet? Like from start to finish? Did you watch it all? 
I watched some of the trailers. I watched like the trailer compilation that skipped all of the garbage in between. So uh, a lot of people said true. that there wasn't a lot of garbage in between, but right. that's a lie. There was a lot of in between garbage from all fucking content producers out there. Yeah. You're talking about like the, the filler stuff where it's like talk, talk, talk trailer. Like the people coming up on stage and fucking herp derping. Yeah. Right. Those people. Yeah. I mean, yeah, everybody's, everybody's always going to have that because really what it is is it's an investor show and it's a press conference. So right. you can't, you can't just like, of course, if it was actually just for gamers, they do it on like game trailer TV or something. And it'd just be like, here's a playlist of fucking 142 trailers that are games By that are way, coming soon. Jeff Keeley, if you ever watch this Keeley, Keeley, I don't know, which, whichever it is. If you ever watch this Jeff, I know you're a producer of the internet. Okay. Producer? I'm, I'm a little upset. Producer or producer? Pro per 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 he browses the internet, is the word you're trying to say. <laughs> Just say that. The user of the internet. Yeah. He's... What's your favorite Pokemon, JR? Uh, what is my favorite Pokemon? Who's uh... your favorite, favorite Pokemon on your team in Pokemon right now? I, I, you know, it's been so long since I played fucking Pokemon XY that I don't think I Who's have. the first Pokemon you chose? Uh, the first one I chose is, um, the frog. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. I can't remember his name. Do you know his name? I can't, I can't remember his fucking can't first form name. name. I know his well, final evolution is Greninja. Jeff fucking Keeley. Uh. Neither could Jeff Keeley. His, he, because you forget, because realistically, let's talk it, let's talk about it realistically. At, at least I knew Greninja. Okay. I, well, his final form is called Greninja. That's the name of the final form. Yeah, it's if you Greninja. Can, well, did he not say Greninja? He just said not the ninja. The ninja. Oh, he had I a see. producer in his ear that said Greninja, and he said the ninja. The ninja. I see. Jeff, if you're going to fucking Jeff. pretend that you're a video gamer. Yeah. And learn the names. Jeff, if you're going to appear on the stage uh, as the announcer for the Smash Brothers tournament, maybe learn some. Froki, thank you, Juan Jose. Uh, it's Froki. Is Froki. And then his second stage is Frogadier, and then he's Greninja. See, I knew Frogadier, but I knew that that wasn't first stage. Boom, either. Jeff Keeley. Boom. Boom, Jeff Keeley. I knew two forms. So, who is Ryan? Huh? I mean, I probably know Ryan, I'm sure, but I don't... Right, okay, hey Ryan, what's up? <laughs> hey Ryan from Connection. <laughs> Glad that was interrupting our talk show! God damn it! Fuck it, we'll do it live. Alright, uh, so anyways, let's, let's get so back on topic. Sick of your, Set. your wife. Yes, you do. See, I know that I do. I, I know exactly who you are. I knew because he came into the no, chat and said... We're not teaming up. So how about She's Thunderstorms? Problems talking I know. In Minecraft. Listen, you need to either get Stop. in the stream to... This is, this is like looking. This is viewership. That's all it is. It's, yeah. not, it's not happy-go-lucky, let's hook up and do shit time. The fucking right. Minecraft is specifically so people have something to watch yeah. while we talk about this, shit. That's this... why him and I aren't getting together or we'd be blowing each other up. This should Constantly. specifically be your favorite time we've ever been in Minecraft, Anna, because nobody has any plans. We're ju we're just running around. I'm gonna go find some diamonds. That's that's my only plan. Uh, all right, all right, back to the talk show. God, so, anyways, yeah. So all right, Jack. right. It's Anna. It's all Anna. Take take number two. All right, ready. Always. <sighs> go. Fucking, all right. Welcome so, to the <laughs> no, 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 no. We're so not starting Microsoft all the way over. Conference. So the Microsoft conference. So let me <laughs> let me say this about the Microsoft conference. They, they came out and they went, hey, guys, all we're going to do is show you games. Which, okay, I was, I, first off, I was like, all right, cool. Because last time we got all this fucking ESPN. I couldn't think of the name ESPN. Uh, but ESPN. Minion is enjoying the show. I used to call Ryan Minion all the time. Uh so, because <laughs> we, cause, all right, anyways, uh, sorry. I get it. So, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, we're so professional. So anyways, uh, so they came out and they said, Hey guys, 
we're gonna we're gonna show you games. That's all we're interested in. We're gonna show you some games, which is cool. I was really excited about it. Here's the problem. Here's my like, why in the world would you? I know that I am not every gamer and I'm not the entire audience of the world, but if the main complaint was, hey guys, that last uh, show was both completely useless because let's, I don't even want to get off on this tangent, but let's just say it. Their last show was completely useless because they said a whole bunch of shit. None of it happened. So, all right, that, that was the thing that happened. Like, oh, okay. Hey, guys, we're gonna, this is going to be an always online DRM console. Just kidding. No, it's not. Hey, guys, we're going to fully support uh, Connect throughout the entire launch of our console. Just kidding. No, we're not. <laughs> like, hey, kidding, guys, no, we're not. hey, guys, no. we're going to bring you a whole bunch of exclusives that you're not going to get anywhere but Microsoft. Caveat, as long as it's just DLC or games you don't care about. Um, so, and I, okay, Listen, uh, some I've people care about those games. Before of being a, uh, a Sony my, fanboy. A Sony fanboy. Because right. Because I haven't played, I haven't purchased an Xbox in my entire life. Now, my brother owned the original Xbox, the big fucking black one. Right. Uh, and I have played a plenty of fucking Xbox games. I've beat Halo on fucking Legendary. I've He's lying. fucking, He's full of you shit. know, co op that shit. No, I co-op that shit with your <laughs> wife's ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Had to bring that up. Oh, you, fucking, <laughs> you asked for the thunder, I brought it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I fucking got introduced to the Elder Scrolls series from the Xbox version of Morrowind. Right. Okay, that's where I first ever played the Elder Scrolls series. Most so people. there's a little near and dear there. There's a little nostalgia yeah. there for me. Yeah. But since then, they have fucked up oh, for dude. me personally. In my house, there's... When they came out with the 360, I'm not a stupid purchaser, okay? Yeah. I read shit. I look at shit. I wait before I purchase a console. All I saw when the 360 came out was people red ringing left and right. Yeah. And everybody was saying it was because the soldering contacts were using cheap material and shit like that. Yeah. So, I'm... I'm not going to be like, oh, these people are lying. It's some kind of conspiracy. They bought Xboxes. They're clearly fans, and here yeah. they are saying about it. Now, yes, people were also getting yellow lights of death on the PlayStation. I've, I mean, the amount of volume that that was happening was way less than the red right. ring of death. And yeah. if you say otherwise, you're probably a fanboy. Yeah. That said, that disclaimer out of the way, I don't have any real hatred for the Xbox. Okay. Yeah. I think Microsoft does do some scumbag stuff, but that's with PC shit. They they also do good work. I mean, they put out good stuff, uh, but they started this exclusives game, and then now it's turned on them. Uh, yes, they did. And, and it has definitely turned on them. Yeah. So let's 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 get back to the point though, because uh, I will say, legitimately, I'm a huge Microsoft fan. I was a big fan of we're Halo. About the conference. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about the conference. So, but I think it's I think it's. I think it's appropriate for us to establish that we're unbiased on this situation because realistically we both game mostly on PC. Uh, so a lot of this is, yeah, a lot of this is actually us watching for trailers that we're going to see on PC uh, until this year, but we'll get into that later. So listen, I had a launch Xbox 360, no red ring ever. So I mean, you know, it goes to show, you know, it yeah, wasn't I mean, I happening. I never got a yellow light of death, but I'm not going to sit here and yeah. say that didn't happen. No, yeah, I, yeah, I, I can't uh, say that it wasn't uh, an issue. I can say it didn't affect 100% of consoles, so it wasn't a catastrophe. But yeah, anyways. I did get a first generation PS4, so I'm fully expecting it to fail at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting first mine. First generations always have problems. Have an issue. So anyways, uh, Microsoft Conference, they came out and said, hey guys, we're going to show you a lot of games. Uh, they did that. They they kept up their end of the bargain. They didn't do any connect focus. There was no connect. Well, I'm not. They that's said, good. "Hey, we're gonna." Well, I mean, the, it's, it's good one that it. they didn't focus on it because for for the last two E3s, that's all we got was connect left and right, yeah. people dancing around. Cirque du Soleil. Time it was more about games. Yeah. It, it must be. I can't imagine what it must be like to be an owner of the Xbox One with a Connect on it, and then to see nothing for Connect. Yeah. In the entire conference, almost. Let me ask you a quick question about this game. Do you have a bed? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't, so... How about you stop talking about the I, game? I just, I'm going to disconnect real quick so you guys can sleep. So, anyways. 
Uh, Stop talking. Nothing. Shut up. So anyways. Uh, so yeah. They said they were going to talk about games. They talked about games. Now, they showed... I have to think that... I don't want to compare too much to other shows because we'll do that in a little bit. But they showed a wide enough array of games that there were games that came up that I didn't care about. Now, that's me. I know that people care about those games. Like Forza 5, I could not give a shit less. Uh, Dance Central... You know, that's that's not my that's not my market. I'm not that market. But I know that people are, but I my my only concern is are those people watching that stream? Are do those people require that as their source of, you know, news about that? Do they care about news about? Are they just the people who buy it when it comes out and goes, "Okay, it's the next thing, you know, I need this." Uh, so that's that's my question to that is does it does it really matter is it really necessary that they showed that off at the show um do you, do you get what i'm saying does that come across to everybody does that make sense yeah, those those guys have already purchased it i mean yeah. it's not like it's a big deal to them but i'm i don't know i would one of the big things that i got from e3 when they announced the xbox one was that the biggest thing was most of the people that were behind Microsoft were the were the ones saying, yeah, I'm glad they're sticking to their guns instead yeah. of pandering to the casuals out there that are complaining about it. And you know what? I was right there with those guys. When Juan yeah. said that, I was right there with him. Like, yeah, absolutely. If they stick by their guns and don't give in to that crying bullshit, then absolutely you're going to be in a good situation where yeah. it's going to pan out because producers love that concept. And we talked about that the other day. Producers love that Microsoft was sitting there going, oh, yeah, they're not going to be able to pirate your shit. This is not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And then they totally abandoned that concept because plebeians. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, well, the people, yeah. So that's, I mean, that's it's an insult to say plebeians, but I mean. That's, th well, that's I mean, another thing on. that we'll talk about. Seriously. Is that at that conference there was a staggering lack of actual exclusives, right? Like, right. would you say that the number of exclusives shown that were real deal exclusives? That is a big deal. I mean, yeah. you have to talk about exclusives because that's what everybody talked about years ago yeah. when Microsoft was dominating with exclusives. So you still have to talk about exclusives now, and they are not winning the exclusives games, which, yeah. like you said, they started, and it's yeah. biting them in the ass right now. So yeah, it's like you don't you don't I, start I a war you can't finish. And so what happened, the only thing that I can think, given the given what they said last year and then the staggering lack of exclusives this year is that they went in and they were like, "All right, guys, listen, here's what's going to happen. Publishers, we're going to create a console that is going to have f always on online DRM. People won't be able to pirate your games." And, per, and publishers said, all right, more money for us. Sounds great. And they said, now, as a part of that, you know, we're going to be looking to you guys for exclusives. And publishers probably were like, yeah, I mean, you know, we'll make whole games for you with, with that kind of promise. Because Sony's not doing it. Because Nintendo's not doing it. Because S PC is doing it, but... Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's so ingrained with PC. If you play PC games and you're one of those people who complain about all, always on DRM, you really don't, you, I, you're probably not paying enough attention to what's happening, right? I don't want to insult anybody, right. but I'll say you're probably not paying the appropriate amount of attention to what's going on. You're probably not playing, yeah, you're, you, you probably don't understand what the problem is with a company like GameStop yeah, yeah. and why it's an issue. Yeah, so that's, that's a thing, Anna, shh. Or I'll come over there and back into you. I can't. Okay. So, anyways, um, uh, so I don't beat my wife. Shut up, internet. Uh, all the time. Mutilator. Just kidding. This is going up on. Okay, go ahead. That subreddit. So yeah. So let's. So that's. I think that's all we really need to say. I don't think we need to spend four hours talking about the Microsoft conference. They made a lot of promises last year. They seem to have fallen through on every single one, and I think it's they because of bad have planning. Abandoned them. Yeah. Yeah. 
the 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 like, entirety like of saying Xavier told Magneto, you abandoned me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> spoilers. I don't know. It's it's a really terrible thing, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's in the trailer. So I know. Spoilers. Well. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm personally uh, quite upset about it. To be totally honest, yeah, I'm quite upset about because I was right there saying, yeah, they need to stick to it. If they stick to it, it'll pay off in the end. And I've always said that one of the biggest problems with last generation systems were that none of them really focused heavily on attaching their camera to the console. Yeah, and that's why you didn't get a lot of games that came out with the the cameras in mind with either the iToy or the Kinect. Yeah, there was some shit here and there, you know, the Ghost Recon open and close your hand to shoot yeah. bullshit, which nobody really cared about. But that kind of stuff is just the beginning, right? That that kind of stuff can easily grow and it can become something better if only the fucking console came with it. Because when you have a situation where every single console, like the Xbox One, comes with the Kinect, then every developer, when they develop for the Xbox, is going to say, hey, everybody that has the console has this fucking camera, so let's invest some time into it, right? Yeah, exactly. And that's a thing that you don't get with the PS3, or, or I'm sorry, the PS4, because it's sold separately. Look at the Wii U for a great example of that. Batman Arkham City came out. The con they focused on that ta on the fucking tablet controller for the for the Wii U and it made the game more interesting. Way more interesting. I would prefer 100% to play uh Dark uh, not Dark Knight but uh Arkham Knight on the fucking Wii U because of that. Right. So I absolutely believe that they made a mistake by taking the Kinect off of the console. Because that's going to cause developers to possibly not burn time on something that they have no guarantee that everybody's going to have. Right. And let's talk I, about I it like this. Use my, I, I have the iToy I, and nothing uses it. Nothing. Yeah. It's the, only used the for fucking a playroom. If I want to stream for the PS. <laughs> In the playroom. That's it. Now they are adding stuff to the playroom. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, the only use for that iToy is a webcam for when I'm streaming for my PS4. That's it. Yeah. No other point to it. Yeah, and that's again and that's because it doesn't come standard on the console. So, and we'll we'll get into that a little bit more in a minute. But um, so I kind of want to close off Microsoft oh, here. I uh, overall not again not rating it against anybody else. Microsoft disappointing. Uh, I there was a lot of stuff that I really want to see more of. None of it's gonna sell me the console by itself. I was an early adopter of the Connect technology and had really really high for hopes for it uh because you know you take something like that and you throw in vr and i mean you've got you know no controller immersive immediately immersive gaming right does it have to be a does it have to be a shooter no i was reading a thing earlier today where uh steven spielberg and george lucas said that the the next they they had some fucking super chauvinistic bullshit to say about it like oh it's got to cater to the ladies you know if it's not if it's not good for a skirt then it's not going to win any award yeah it was it was really chauvinistic uh can't remember where i read the article but it was it was a, it was a reputable uh, online magazine and they were like oh yeah it's got to be titanic uh you know it's got to be for the girls and blah 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 so yeah that was dumb but realistically Give me a VR game with motion controls where I reach out and shake somebody. It doesn't even have to be big. Reach out, shake somebody's hand, do like this to talk to, you know, stupid bullshit to talk to somebody. Have it recognize a couple voice commands so that it can, uh, Facade, right, was a game that recognized, I mean, and that's a bullshit little Flash game put it, put on a Unity engine, but it oh, really, what is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, she's playing Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why she's um, playing it in here. Well, but. I, I do know what you're saying, by the way, because and that's one of the things that's exciting for me about the Sony conference that we'll get around to. Yeah. But, yes, absolutely. I yeah. Mean, that's, I'm all for that kind of shit. Yeah. Absolutely. They could have. Let's not be pompous assholes and focus on it and say, no, nah, we're not going to ever use a controller. No, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> that, that's. That's a little too far there, Microsoft. And yeah. I think that's maybe one of the big downfalls of the Connect. They can't find the sweet are. spot. Could you imagine? Could you listen? Right. Imagine a game made by well, Telltale. Out of sheer arrogance. And it might be that fucking what's his nuts guy that was in charge of the entire project all along that caused that entire situation to go down. 
Yeah. Maybe he was just, I mean, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes at Microsoft, but maybe he was just some pompous asshole that's like, no, there is no controller. You're the controller. Yeah. Like, listen, dude, come on. You have to give ground somewhere and be accepting it. I mean, how big was that? If Tony Hawk comes out on the stage, I can scan my skateboard and it's in the game. Okay, let's do that with like every fucking Nerf gun some kid can have or yeah. something as yeah. well. Like, what? what's the fucking problem? Yeah, this was totally the stuff that I talked about when the shit was coming out, too. Like, fuck yeah, I can scan my fucking... I think fucking... we have to move away from the ex Microsoft conference because we've covered pretty much everything. We yeah, we're going to. I want to I wanna say this, though. Uh, fuck, I forgot. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I would, I would love a game like that, right? I would love, like I was saying, Telltale takes their, their oh. unique storytelling style... You instead, like, I was like, what is it? I think you need a, a total of four buttons and the ability to look around in a direction uh, and, and click things that are on screen. So you do that with motion sensors, you have VR. That's number one seller, best game ever, fucking Titanic of video games. Absolutely. Uh, so let's move on, though. Um, right. That was 30 minutes. That gives us 30 minutes for the other two. Yeah. So, yeah. So Yay. let's... No, 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 I don't want to talk about publisher conferences. Uh, no. Nah, we can, we can talk I mean, about... kind of... It's just the big, the big couple. I mean. Really all it is... Yeah, but really all it is is all trailers, right, and I think we can discuss trailers when we talk about our games of E3. I think right now what we need to talk about is how the conferences went. Okay. Uh, I don't want to focus on the games so much as the conference itself. So. All right, so then let's move on to Sony. Nintendo's conference. Well, let's talk, about so let's talk about Sony because Sony was second. We'll do them in the order they came. Uh, Nintendo okay. Direct happened this morning, but Sony was last night. So let's talk about Sony. I'll let you start. Uh, Nintendo Direct's not really a fucking conference, is it? Well, it's, it's, their, it's their... I mean, we'll talk about that when we get to the Nintendo. Let's talk about Sony right now. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sony, I mean, again, I'm, people think I'm a fanboy because I uh, tell it how it is and people just don't like to hear that there's Sony proceeds that you pay. I get it, they're the big corporate conglomerate company that's not helping the teenagers out there like good old Microsoft, good guy Microsoft is, <clears throat> even though that's bullshit, yep. they're both the same. But I would like... Not really excited about the Uncharted 4 announcement. Everybody knew that was coming. It wasn't a big hit. Uh, I've never been a fan of the series, but I'm sure that's a big... That's obviously a big uh, exclusive for them. Yeah, huge. Uh, um, Bloodborne is probably the largest, hugest exclusive for them. That's the guy who made Dark Souls and Demon Souls. He wasn't responsible for Dark Souls 2. Uh, however, it must be stated that even though he wasn't directing Dark Souls 2, every fucking mechanic, game mechanic, and the way the game works came from Dark Souls. Port basically, it was just more of Dark Souls, which is he's responsible for that. So when you, if you enjoyed Dark Souls or Dark Souls 2, other than maybe the UI upgrades, which obviously is way better in Dark Souls 2 and is just a product of its time, I think right. uh, yeah. forward to with Bloodborne. And um, I'm not really going to talk about like the GTA 5 announcement because that's happening on Xbox as well and stuff like yeah. that. And that's more of a game. It's, it's happening in a lot of places. I'm only going to talk about exclusives when it comes to the conference. The conference, yeah. Which, um, you know, wasn't a ton of exclusives that no. were really like big blockbusters aside from those two. Uh, most of it was a, a lot of uh, indie game exclusives, which is a little meh. Oh my god, there are some really cool things coming out for it. Obviously, yeah. the Destiny hit was the biggest fucking yeah. hit in the entire conference. Here you have a company that used to be exclusive to Microsoft, and yeah. now they're giving Sony these big benefits for Destiny. And if you're not on the... If you're still on the fence for Destiny, uh, I can't understand the mindset behind that. Because, yes, it is basically Borderlands, but it's much larger. It's much more like an MMO world. Uh, and it's got a lot of Halo influence and art style and the way the game plays. And it's a lot more complicated than you get one ability with a talent. Trick. Yeah, and we I'll talked about that. this yesterday. I mean, <clears throat> there's, a, there's a scene in the uh, trailer where there's a big guy getting off of a ship. And, I mean, it's 100% a hunter from Halo. So they're recycling a lot of the uh, a lot of the character models, sure. Well, conceptually, but, yes. Yeah, but... but 
I mean, I'm not, I'm not one of these people who's complaining about that because here's the deal, regardless of whether right, or not there's, it's there's no reason to complain about it. Yeah. Regardless of whether or not, cause I think people have argued over whether or not it's a continuation of the halo universe. Like, Oh, this is set in the universe of halo. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think, don't that's, think true, that's, yeah, I don't think that's accurate, but I, I don't know. So. It wouldn't make any sense because yeah. I mean, the Halo universe did happen in, like, the real world, Earth, right? Right. Which is what this is doing. But I don't I don't feel like it has anything to do with Spartans whatsoever. Because no, yeah, it's, I mean... Any sense. You, you would at least see some remnants of the Flood or... No, 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 you're talking about future. Halo would have been thousands of years in the future from, uh, what you call it? Because in Halo, Earth... Or what is now? Yeah, Earth is like a memory in it. Like Earth is little but a memory in Halo. Like they that could be the case, but they would that would cause legal issues with micro with Microsoft, and they're not going to do that. Yeah. Now it could have this could have been something where originally it, it was, was going to be. be that. Yeah. And so they just made it a separate thing. Yeah. Um, which so, I don't have a problem with that. So let's talk about Sony as a conference. Sony came out. Um. Both both companies had a new CEO this year, right? Is that or uh, a no, new a new project lead? Last year during the uh, during the uh, announcements, right? But I solo. he's got he's he's there he's a new project lead or something. He's new, is what I'm saying. I don't think it's the same guy. I don't know. It seems like Microsoft changes leadership every time they change a console generation. Uh, oh, which, Microsoft's, yes, Microsoft's was. I thought you were talking about Sony, which uh, yeah. is the subject we're supposed to be on. No, 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 I, I'm saying, I think Sony is, was. I thought Sony did the same. Uh, since no, PS4, they've had the they same had guy doing it. They had some guy come out for the first time, but he's yeah. not uh, like a leader or anything. He's okay. like a, a division leader or some I got shit. All right, um, so that's that's what I thought they were doing. He but... dev leader or some shit. So anyways, uh, so he comes out. And, uh, doesn't, I mean, there wasn't like a lot of filler to it. You know, there was obviously some stuff that needed to be said, some, some points to hit on. That's cool. Uh, I, I, I felt like Sony's probably had the more professional, um, broadcast. Well, I mean, they're like, a really fucking big company. I yeah. Mean, Microsoft is too, but I mean, Sony's been doing this since the seventies with conferences yeah but i mean so microsoft like, has too they they just do a different i mean they've been doing a different type of conference well, before i mean microsoft hasn't been around as long as sony has in terms of just con producing um hardware right but uh, i'm saying microsoft like microsoft is was doing know. you know i mean microsoft was doing computers and stuff i know it's not the same teams same guys, but you would think that well, there's like yeah, some was, share your best practices. They didn't get really big until the 90s. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. And Sony has a, a, a media element that's untouchable. Uh, which some cool cool announcements coming out of that as well. Uh, but not really a big fan of that. And I'll talk to, about that in a second. But anyways, they came out, had a, had a very professional, very, you know, regular demeanor. Everything was set, ready to go. Um, and then what did they open up with? What was game number one on Sony? I don't remember. For Sony? Oh yeah. my god, I don't even remember. It was something good. I, I don't think I paid attention to it, though. Uh -huh. Um, fuck. I don't even remember. Um. I'll, I'll check it out here in a second. But... Well, because there was so much, it was such a long yeah. fucking conference. I, yeah, it was, it was a very long conference. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I watched... The majority of Microsoft's stuff, but I skipped some of it because I watched it after the fact. Again, I've said this before. If I'm going to catch the conference live, I'll watch every minute of it. Uh, if I'm going to catch it after, right. I'm going to bounce through your trailers, see what looks good, and then I'll look into the news later myself. Because just a lot of the times, the, the talking points, stuff like that, they're just not for me. They're not selling me the game. Every once in a while, they have good news. Uh... Let's talk about this. Let's talk about some of the non-games related stuff that Sony's doing. Uh, for instance, the VR system. I'm the VR system, Project Morpheus. Morpheus. I think we've all heard a lot about um, that, but I'm excited to hear more. Well, I'm excited to see it. The thing is, the the shit that got sold to um, Facebook. Oculus. Uh, shit, uh, Oculus. The Oculus yeah. Rift was really popular. 
Um, so I think it's a good move on Sony's part to go down the path of VR. Nobody else seems to be doing that in in terms of the three big console producers. Right. It could be a pretty serious advantage. And we could see that succeed in the next couple of years, and then Microsoft and Nintendo kind of start picking up on it, you know. Right. Um, you know, that's a that's a possibility. And I'm excited about that. I love the idea of VR. Um, I have always loved the idea of it. It's just never been done well. Yeah. But the a lot of people have talked really well about the Oculus Rift, so I'm very um, expectant <clears throat> of this looking this being good. Not only that, we don't know where the Oculus Rift is going with Facebook. I'm not one of the per- people that's going to sit here and tell you, oh, uh, it's Facebook. It's going to be just for tech a petra. No, I mean that's they're clearly trying to branch out and do something else other than social media because they know that shit will not necessarily be super. I mean, we don't know what the future holds. People could hate Facebook. I mean, look what look at my uh, MySpace, right? Somebody else better came along, and that's exactly what ruined it for them. You yeah. Know? there yeah so it's a smart thing for them to pick up the oculus Rift. yeah you future proof um, your technologies by being like hey look you know we have an in with games investing. when you have money you yeah. invest yeah is the smartest fucking thing yeah so I, I mean realistically i don't think uh i think if you're uh fuck, what's what's the guy's name i keep wanting to say mark Wahlberg for some Zuckerberg. reason yeah if you're mark zuckerberg, mark zuckerberg. uh Zucker, i think i think by oculus as an individual, not as Facebook, but maybe he, maybe because of the legal stuff going on right now, he just didn't have the the personal uh, coin to just be like, hey, I'm buying Oculus Rift. My name is Mark Zuckerberg, uh, and I'm buying Oculus Rift. You know, so <laughs> maybe that Mark Zuckerberg, and I'm buying the Rift Oculus. Yeah, maybe that has something to do with that decision. I don't know, but uh, oh. So anyways, um, but yeah, Morpheus, really, really cool. Uh, Really excited to see some good VR stuff. And this is what I got excited about with Morpheus. Uh, And I kind of talked about it a moment ago. Uh, Talking about Morpheus, talking about Move still being supported. You know, they haven't pulled it. Obviously, Microsoft didn't pull their support either. But, you know, I'm just saying. Uh but talking about that and then seeing that there are already existing uh, PlayStation exclusive titles like Heavy Rain uh, and things like that that are really, really have the possibility of immersing. A, like, I know everybody yeah, wants to talk about. I know. What? I'm sorry. I just had to say something about the rumble coming through my microphone. I'm sorry. About that. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Uh, was it was it thunder? That thunderstorm, though. No, nah, there's apparently a theater downstairs. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Subwoofers. Uh, so, anyways, the uh, the situation though that I'm excited about is something like that. I I know, like, uh, we have the running joke about fucking going to third person from Arma Three, uh, and it breaks immersion or whatever. When I play a Everybody shooter, does it though, so this point yeah, have to. yeah, to be competitive, but that's besides the point. When when I'm playing a shooter, right. I don't like immersion's not really gonna get me. I know I can't run with fucking two hundred pounds of gear strapped on me. I will one day because I'm gonna lose some weight and bulk up. That's right, ladies, you heard it here first. But uh, <laughs> but ooh, <laughs> ooh my, so oh, royal. But anyways, uh, so yeah. So I I don't get immersed in that, but what I can get immersed in is a first person dramatic perspective of of things going on and things happening in a world that feels real. Uh, you know, games like again, Telltale Studios has some great games. Uh, you know, Heavy Rain. I didn't play a whole lot of Heavy Rain, but that's because, in my opinion, yeah, those games are weird. Yeah, well, in my opinion, Heavy Rain was a game that needed, like, a, a hook, Oculus. right? Yeah, it needed it needed, it needed VR, like or it needed motion controls. It needed one of those things, and they well, didn't give it to me. a lot of people liked Heavy Rain because of the story, and yeah, like you said, something else could have made that way more interesting. I don't mind 
games being like that. I think a great example of how you can do story and still have great gameplay is The Last of Us. I played Beyond Two Souls. Uh, I haven't finished it. I've been about halfway through it. The story is great. The gameplay sections are kind of weak and absolutely could use a hook like to just keep to, me enthralled in it. Again, Morpheus and a little motion control? I mean... You know, in a, in a heavy drama like that, absolutely. I think that I think that that's the way you go. I think that that's the way you make. Everybody keeps bitching about, oh, games are an art form. I get it, but not every art form has to conform. I don't need. What was it that they showed on Sony with fucking? Oh, each thumbstick controls one of these birds. Yeah, that's fucking weird ass. Come on, dude. I don't care about I'm this. Not a big artsy... fan of stuff like that. Yeah, realistically, let's let's tell it like it is. I mean, it looks that's... interesting if you're into that stuff. But yeah, that's I don't know, it's man. Realistically, it's like, did you ever see the movie uh, Indie? What indie was, in the Indie oh, Game God. movie. What was the name of the movie? It was just called Indie. Something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking remember. It's it's something simple like that. I know that there was an exactly indie game, the movie, hear. and I watched it, and I was like, eh, And right. it's got, like, the Fez guy doing shit on it. Like, I it's, I'm so, like, the fucking mentality of, like, I don't understand it. <laughs> the people, people on the computer, in the computer world, we call these people hipsters, okay? Right. And they act like everything new is shit and all these stuff that's old and artsy is what needs to happen it's the same concept that happens in movies where like black swan gets like a golden globe or something like that i don't yeah. really fucking pay attention or an oscar i don't fucking know and then all the fucking roles that leonardo dicaprio has, oh, has done are not good enough because oh it was it wasn't an artsy enough film because right. he's doing movies that are like impactful and not just some fucking stupid fucking artsy L shit. Leonardo like, DiCaprio. I get it. Artsy's good, uh, but yeah. God, I just hate that <laughs> shit. Moulin Rouge was great. No, it wasn't. No, it, was it wasn't. Fucking yeah, terrible. it was garbage. It was bad. Uh, you yeah. just don't understand what real art is. No, I just understand what entertainment is. Which is what film is. It's not Picasso. <laughs> yeah. like, so, anyways, let's get back to let's get back people. to Sony. But okay, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna reel okay, you back in. <laughs> Sorry. That's uh, for the next talk. <laughs> that's Tuesday. that's for next talk talk Tuesday. So, anyways, uh, so they've got the they've got the VR. Awesome. They've got uh, PlayStation. Let's talk about PlayStation now. Uh, available on every existing console that they have. Oh god! A, a yeah, that's service awesome. that is going to let you play PS3 games and feasibly, eventually, eventually PS2, PS2 and PS1 well. games. Yeah, um, that's awesome. That's incredible. Because I was telling somebody this the other day. If you were selling to gamers, right? If you were pitching to gamers, we are a fucking nostalgic, nostalgic bunch. We will. I'm gonna get killed by a creeper. All right. I was laying in a bed, and a uh, creeper blew me up. So, how about we sleep, feet, folks? Uh, so, anyways, uh, I'm in the nether. we are we are a very very nostalgic group of people. We will we will give you money over and over and over again for the same game, whether it's good, bad, whatever. We don't care as long as it shares something with a game that we've played and enjoyed before. Right? It's it's not necessarily our best characteristic, but it exists. Uh, and I mean, Legend of Zelda is a great example of that. Yeah, Legend of Zelda, no matter how good or bad the game, I mean, okay, we'll talk about that a little later. Um, but, I mean, yeah, like Legend of Zelda, all the Mario stuff, Nintendo is a great example of, like, just nostalgia whoring uh, fanboys. And why? Because look at the consoles to date right now. Who has any backwards compatibility, Nintendo? Who has... Uh, a digital console where you can play every game that they've ever, you know, made or or at least the the best of and the the hits and things like that. Nintendo does with their virtual console. So, it's really impressive Nintendo to see don't. Sega <laughs> does. Nintendo don't <laughs> Sega does. But uh it's it's really impressive to see uh because this is what I feel like that is. I feel like that's Sony acknowledging uh, a core of gamer that they don't normally acknowledge. You know, they're the hardcore 
and and I respect them for that. I respect them for having their their market and and playing to it well. But I think to grow to become the best in the industry, I mean, it's like everything else. You know, you you can't you can't be the best department food in the in the nation and only sell food. Then you're a grocery store, right? So you can't be the best con yeah. games console and ignore an entire genre of games and an entire group of people who like to play games. Whoa, I messed, I messed up my mouse. So uh, that's a really gold cool thing. Gold horse armor. Yeah? You just found it? It's got gold horse armor in a just, chest. Just laying around somewhere. Well, that's fun. In a chest in the nether. In the chest in the nether. Sweet. In a chest in the nether on a hole on a bump on a log and a frog in a hole. I don't know. Anyways, uh... I was doing the, there's a hole. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Anyways. So, that's PlayStation <laughs> Now. PlayStation Now looking really great. Damn, Gab is, host, is Gab hosting the server Absolutely. trying to connect? Oh, it's not on Hamachi. It's, uh, it's, it's servers. We, we have a, we'll have to give him the my, info. yeah, Anna, Anna can give you the info. Whatever. She's my showrunner. Uh, so anyways, um, so that's awesome. Super impressed. Really, really, like, good job. Well done. I give that one to Sony. That one goes to Sony for sure. Uh, Sony not afraid to admit, like, hey, we're, we're missing that demographic, and we can hit it. It's easy. Now, here's another step to that. Sony says, hey, Nintendo, fuck that shit about uh, having to have the current console to play virtual console. We say, oh, did you buy one of our TVs? Because we have those. And then just buy this $99 product. No additional fees. No monthly anything. Don't have to have PlayStation Plus. No nothing. And your PlayStation Now gets a bevy of games. That's perfect. As, as a person who... Know, like, I know people who are retrograde gamers. They would never play anything other than retro games. But they just don't want to go and buy up a whole bunch of old games. This is... That's phenomenal for them. You know? Pretty big feed. Yeah, so well done on that. Uh, do you have anything to add about PlayStation now? Uh, how am I supposed to invite him? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I got to invite him. I'll take the. I'll, I'll, I'll get you on a break. So, anyways, uh, actually, you are an op, so you might be able to do it. You just go into settings on the thing. Uh, so, anyways, I think, I think let's talk about uh, PlayStation TV, right? It was PlayStation TV. Uh, is that the other thing you just talked about? Is that oh, what was the one? There was Box. another. There was another thing where you can play. Where you can? It's the cloud gaming thing. What was that that we were talking about? Um, hold on. Yeah. Um, the cloud gaming. I was talking about PlayStation that's TV. PlayStation Now. The PlayStation TV is the thing you hook up to your fucking... Uh, okay, so that's what that's what I... All right. So PlayStation Now is the the old... Uh, what you call it, right? You get access to the older games, and then you can do it with a PlayStation TV, which will also let you watch movies and stuff that are stored on a card. So essentially, simultaneously, Nintendo is attacking... Uh, their their allies or their their enemies did i say nintendo fucking idiot yeah. sony is attacking their enemies in gaming with uh with playstation you know with the now right the retro gaming and then also their enemies in in television and streaming you know content with Apple and you know Google TV and stuff like that with this PlayStation right. TV. So Sony is putting themselves in a position to to be just a, a more of a multimedia mogul than they already are. Uh, well, and that's always great. had a focus on the greater picture than the, the yeah. just consoles. That's but, why they've never really bucked up to Microsoft's you know claims and shit like that. Yeah. Because it's like, I mean, how do you go toe to toe with with a company that makes, I mean, you know, makes some of the some of the blockbuster smash hits, right? Uh, so that segues perfectly into this as well. Um, not really, uh, I, I'm not really familiar with powers. It seems like a cool concept. Uh, giving every PlayStation Four owner immediate access to a PlayStation exclusive series. 
sounds like a cool concept. They sound like they want to do more with it. Um, that one, I'm not sure that you're going to get the most, you know, bang for your buck out of that one. But hey, you've got to start somewhere. Uh, and they give every single PlayStation owner uh, access to one episode. And then they said, hey, but we're also trying to add more value to Plus. So they understand that Plus feels... I mean, I've had no problem with the value uh, for return on Plus, but people do. People are out there that say that they do. And uh, they, their response to them was, hey, how about an entire series of a show that normally you would have to pay for entirely for free for you? Uh, that's an awesome idea. You know? I like it. Yeah, I mean, like for that, me... Like said, I'm, I don't know shit about the show, yeah. but it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's again, because it's the start of something else. Like, yeah, and we're talking about the companies and the conferences, right? So, and that's a that's a big thing to bring free. And if you're a PS Plus subscriber, you get that shit free. Yeah, that's a. It's huge. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be an animated, like a cel shaded animated comic style of thing. Uh. That's that's another big deal. That's that's going to give you um I mean, you know, it means that it's not it means one that it's not cheap. They didn't make it cheaply, you know. I mean, they could, but it looks well animated. Uh they showed some of the um what's the word I'm looking for? Concept art looks really neat. Well, well animated 3D animated stuff. So, I'm excited about it. Uh, I don't think we need to spend much more time on that, but we will talk about real quickly. Um, the word escapes me. Hang on for but a moment while my head wraps itself around it. The Ratchet and Clank movie. Ratchet and Clank movie. So never played Ratchet and Clank games, but that's kind of cool. Uh, Sony's always been a TV studio, a movie. They, I mean, they've put out stuff before. Right. I'm pretty sure. Um, so this, this looks to me like they're, if this is successful and a lot of people go and see it, because listen, Ratchet and Clank's a good thing to start with. Even if there's people that don't play Ratchet and Clank out there, odds are kids are going to see this shit it's, and be yeah. like, oh, what the movies. It's a smart, it's a, it's a business savvy move. It's going to, it's going to resonate Sorry. well with investors. Let's not suck Sony's dick too much. Though. No, I'm not. I'm saying it's a business savvy move. It's, it's, this, this is exactly what it is. Uh, if, if I wanted to make, uh, let's, let's take a Sony franchise that is, is not necessarily as well known or something like, if I wanted to make a Parappa the Rapper movie, I don't, uh, but if I did, if I was so vexed and inclined, I'm, I'm probably not going to get the money for that. I can't go into, uh, you know, a fucking, uh, financial institution and be like, Hey guys, give me money for, uh, Parappa the Rapper movie. I also can't go to any real investors unless there's some guy out there who's a billionaire and just happens to be like the one number one fan of Parappa the Rapper. So anyways, I'm Sony. I own Parappa the Rapper. I say, I want to make a Parappa the Rapper movie. I think that gamers would love it, but I don't know how to target that to them. I could kickstart it. Sure, whatever. Uh, I could also, uh, instead of kickstarting it, I could go, well, let's let's see where this goes. And I could start with something that kids will watch, and I could start with something that's going to have a degree of success. It's got a fan base, and kids are going to watch it. And then you go, hey, guys, we got a return on investment. You know, let us do other movies. So that's that's where I'm going with that. I think it's a business-savvy move. Uh, well, I mean, I agree it's a very good business move. Yeah. Um, so then shut up with your telling me I'm sucking their dick shit. What the shit. fuck is that? You're the fanboy, not me. Oh my god! What did he drop? Just two bones. So, anyways, uh, okay, sorry, go. I did want to talk about some some like opportunity areas that I saw with Sony. Uh, they they came with a lot of games. They came with a lot of information. They progressively got worse with their offerings, in my opinion. You know, is is one hundred percent opinion. I don't know. Um, I, in terms of again, I can't talk about anything that's not exclusive. Yeah. Because 
And when there's no point in that, if yeah. it's going to everyone, then it's not really a exactly that's, necessarily a strong point. That's what I'm saying. I um, think they led with their best exclusives, and then they fell back on. I mean, again, like we said, Uncharted Four, right? That's a big exclusive for them. It's got a lot of fan base. I mean, it's not for me. I don't. I don't particularly care for it. Uh, again. I'm not saying that that made their show bad. I'm saying that it was a thing that didn't resonate with me. It didn't strike me. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, I'm just I'm just proving that I'm human after all. You know, I I I liked a lot of stuff that they did. I Pure don't. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I liked a lot of stuff that they did, but I had I had my issues with it as well. I don't think I don't think it was without without flaw. Close, but not without flaw. Close, but no flaw. The flaw. <laughs> Close, but still flawed. Just not 100%. So anyways, uh, I think that covers Sony. I think we've covered everything we needed to talk about on Sony. Um, yeah, pretty much. You think so? All right. So let's move Overall, on. a good conference out of them. Yeah. So let's move on to, obviously... I think they knocked it out of the park because last year, obviously, there's a big problem with them uh, with games this this time around. A lot of good games. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's how it works. I think we can agree on that. I think they came to a games conference, they showed games, and then they showed a little bit extra, uh, and I was okay with what they showed me. Um... So let's talk about Nintendo. Now, I think I can gather from what you had said earlier that you haven't watched the their conference or what they call their conference I do know yet. what they talked about. Okay. Um, they announced another Zelda, a new Zelda Wii U. That's yeah. exciting. Wee! Bayonetta 2 is going to be exclusive. Yeah. Is it not? Yes, it is. Exclusive. I mean, pretty That's much. a big deal for people that love Bayonetta games. Yeah. When you talk about Nintendo, and this is this is one thing, I, I don't like their way. Uh, actually, I do. I take that back. I used to not like. I don't. I don't. Well, when it first started, I didn't like the idea of them being like, we're going to do our conference on a separate day. And then they were like, we're going to do our conference not at the fucking thing at all it's a it's a it's a majorly J japanese company with no real i mean they have a, an american contingency with uh reggie fils and, and he's a funny guy he's got he's got a really good crowd presence but uh they don't they don't lean on that heavily you know they used to um but it, it looks to me like this is i've said this before uh, I think that Nintendo makes games for playing. They make games to play with your family, with, you know, kids, yeah. with your friends. They're about having fun. Yeah, they're all about having they're fun. Less about bullshit and graphical fidelity and all that. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So, to come on... I can't blame them for that. Yeah, so to come on, and they started with uh, this, this segment of Reggie, and he's like... Uh, in in robot chicken claymation, or he's like he's got like action figure joints, but it's very obviously claymation. It felt a lot, a lot like um, robot chicken. So he comes on with that, and uh, <laughs> like says something about uh, uh, you guys. Are you falling in love? No, 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 no. It's just it's funny and it makes me laugh. But he says something about the way that uh, you know. Oh, you guys thought. We weren't going to have a press conference at all. Not my problem. And it's weird, and it comes off really quirky and dumb, but it's funny. Uh, and then he's got a whole bunch of Nintendo characters backstage. Oh, a fucking guy in the audience heckles him. Oh, tell us about the next Mario game already. And he's like, I don't appreciate your fucking tone. He doesn't say fucking, but come on, I'll ad-lib that in. <laughs> what? Oh, so anyways, he's like, yeah, I don't appreciate your tone, but let me tell you this. We're not talking about Mario games today. Uh, and then, and then proceeds to pull out a, uh, a, a fire flower, a Mario fire flower. His suit turns red and he ignites the guy in the crowd. I mean, again, this is claymation animated or right. animated stuff. So it's whatever, but it's Nintendo starting with Reggie fils me in whatever incarnation, 
igniting a, a, a member of the press at E3. <laughs> It's just, yeah, I, I stopped it right there and I was like, that's perfect. That's a good start. So, uh, so you got that. They started that way. And then they start off with, uh, super smash brothers, smash brothers, obviously a huge title for them. Yeah. Everybody was ready for it. No, no secrets there. Everybody knew that that was coming. So it makes sense to lead with it. An awesome, I think an awesome announcement in the way that they're going to work me. Again, I don't want to talk too much about the details, but I just want to kind of glaze over all of it. But uh, you can use a me, like your me, as one of three different styles of fighter in the game. That's a pretty cool thing. Not only because you can do yourself, but like they say, because now you can do like, hey, did you want to make fucking... <laughs> Shut up. Uh, did you want to make, who did they have? Ice-T? And, and, and fight with him in Smash, uh, you know, in Super Smash Brothers? Well, make a me that looks like Ice-T. And fucking fight with Ice-T, you know? Ice-T? Yeah. They had some other people I can't, oh, they had, like, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, you can make a me that looks like those people. You know how you can make a me that looks like just about anybody, right? Like, you, through the me right. editor? So you make a me that looks like a person, and then you can make them a fighter in uh, Smash Brothers. So, well, yeah. I mean, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, it's not. To me, that's me. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not saying it's the best Super thing Smash ever. Smash Brothers to play as the fucking character. Right, but it allows you to it allows you to create some humorous scenarios. I can't I mean, wait to do a, a let's play I'm in half. It's a bad no, thing. yeah, it's it's just not a yeah. It's not it's not like the big deal. Let's play. Uh, yeah, I can think of doing a good YouTube let's play where it's like uh, let's have of uh, Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fight against. Uh, mm -hmm. Fucking Richard Nixon, like presidential bad guys. I'm not a crook. I'm not a crook. <laughs> right? We can do some good voices with that. <laughs> I'm excited about that now. Anyways, uh, so they start off with that, and then they introduce um, a lot like Disney Infinity and Skylanders, RFID-based uh, figurines. So you get a little figure. You press it to the point on your Wii U control or pad that uh, that looks like it's like, oh, this is an RFID sensing spot. Uh, you do that, and lo and behold, it gives you the ability to uh, summon in a, a character to aid you to spar against, or you can, no way, yeah, or you can 1v1 battle these guys. And just like any other RFID-based technology, uh, it, it downloads and uploads information. So as you play it, you can level these little figurines. And I was like, all right, that's cool. It doesn't affect the normal lineup of, uh, of characters. So while Mario is an available character, he's not, you don't have to have the figurine to get him, but he's a, he's a specific type of Mario who can be leveled up and used. And I thought that was pretty cool. And then they started talking about uh, you're going to be able to not only use those figures on Super Smash Brothers, but on other titles, not just the next Super Smash Brothers, like with Infinity. You know, you can use Infinity 1 figures on Infinity 2. Uh, Disney right. Infinity is what I'm talking about. But yes. on different games. So the figurines that they're coming out with for the end of this year will be available on a number of games that are coming out by the end of the year including Smash Brothers and, like, Mario Kart 8, which is already out. They didn't talk a lot about how they're going to be able to be used, but they said it, and it was cool. So uh, I'm excited to hear more about that and see more about that in the coming days. And uh, let's see, what else did they do? I'm trying to kind of stay away, again, from a specific games, but that's kind of a fucking wash. Well, I mean, a lot of stuff on Nintendo is pretty exclusive. I think it's time to move on to talking yeah. about games. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, hold on. There's there's one more thing that I really wanted to get on, on on Nintendo. Hang on. I'll think of it. It's not a game though. Um. It's not a game. I swears. 
I think it was a game. All right, we'll, we'll move on. I, I think we've touched every every point that we needed to. We didn't give Nintendo their full 30 minutes, but that's okay. We got a lot of stuff to talk about today. So, uh... Yeah, you can't give it Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? So, what I want to do now, uh, I want to kind of open up our, our, our phone lines, right? And, uh, and see... Huh? Hey, this is the next topic. I'm, I'm going over the next topic. I want to open up our phone lines here and see uh, what everybody thinks as we talk about it and discuss it. Who, which conference won, right? Just based on the conferences, not necessarily the games. We'll talk about the games in a minute. I want to just talk about who won. It's, 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 like, it's a common adage, right? Like, oh, these guys won this year. Uh, we've kind of started to talk about it a little bit, but I want to talk about... What? Are that you... baby zombie pig man oh, is riding a chicken in the nether. Me. <laughs> so anyways, I, I want, uh, if, if you're watching, you can join the, uh, there's the link. You can join the Ray call now. Uh, if you're in the lobby, uh, or the lounge, excuse me, and you want to talk to us, uh, just let me know in the chat what your Ray call name is and we'll come to you. Uh, if you if you want to weigh in on who you think won uh, E3, so we'll again we'll come to that, uh, giving people time to like download uh, <laughs> raid call and compose what you want to say. Let me know if you want to talk. But anyways, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, let's talk now. I think what we'll what we'll go to now is what are we hoping to see from the show floor what haven't we seen yet e3 is a long process it goes till friday or thursday or friday uh what are you and i gab and banana can weigh into what are we hoping to see from the show floor that we haven't already seen what are we what you know uh news are we hoping comes out and things like that so I, i'll let you go first me yeah well uh if you're talking about who won, no, 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 no. Straight like I'm talking about. You don't want my opinion on who won. <laughs> no, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna let some callers okay. line up if we have any, and then if not, whatever, we'll talk about it. But for right now, I while was that happens, to see actual Mass Effect Four footage, not just models being spun around, pre-rendered in 3ds Max or whatever. Fuck That's the that happened on uh, EA, right? Uh, EA did that, right? I was okay. hoping to see actual footage of Battlefront fighting going on. I mean, it was announced, Jesus Christ, a year ago. Right. And all they have is some fucking environments, really? Well, this and this is why I wanted to talk about this because these are things just because we don't we didn't see them today cuz again, today is day 1. You know, just because we didn't see yeah, them I mean, that's in the shows. Man, I, I think that if it's ever going to happen, that would be what That's the place happen. to do it. Generally, Companies like that are gonna hold out for big announcements like that and bank their conference on it. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean, generally because... speaking, I would agree with you, but I've seen things come out at E3 like that. You know, I mean, if it's if it's not one of the big three publishers, I mean, it's possible. Um, I'm I'm a little disappointed in the Metal Gear Solid Five trailer. There's a lot of shit going on in it, and I get that it gives off the sensation of a lot of chaos happening, but nothing really is getting teased for me. Uh, the previous trailers that they've shown was a lot of teaser stuff. This one was basically more of what I already know. Yes, we're going to see him go down a path of uh, change. In, you know they, The only big reveal was they're calling him Venom Snake now, which because you know he's got a lot of built up venom inside of him in a right. metaphorical sense. I, I'm a, I'm a little upset though that we didn't get any real revealing of anything. There's nothing to take from that. You can't really sit around with that trailer and uh, knock heads about it. Bit, bit. And well, okay, my fucking Minecraft just crashed. Mine crash. Mine crash. Um, there's no. It's just one of those things where I, when I watch a trailer for Metal Gear Solid, I want to look at it and be able to analyze shit that's right. going on. And there's nothing new there. I mean, it's building more hype, obviously, in the 
terms of uh, I would have loved to have seen more gameplay instead of some kind of cinematic trailer. What the fuck? Something is fucking me over right there. I gotta turn around or something. So you did it again? Yeah, it's oh. some area that I'm at. Gotcha. Um. All right. Yeah. Well, let me let me. I'll, I'll kind of talk about some of mine real quick. Uh, well, no, it's that's not stopping me. It's your kid okay. in the background. I got you. Hey, right next to your microphone. <laughs> your your child. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm coming in louder than her. It's just no. Yeah, no, you definitely are. She. I've got my my, my volume situated a lot better. Maybe not though. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to. I'm not making a big case out of it. Anyways, um, yeah, I was hoping to see a whole lot more new gameplay, like more gameplay come out of that, because that's what gets me excited about that game is the gameplay. Right. Uh, we've seen uh, the story-wise. They're not gonna give any way, any spoilers away. He's not that type of person. He's not gonna give. He's probably went over that fucking trailer with a fine tooth comb to make sure not a single spoiler is revealed. And the most you can get out is speculation. And we've already had speculative trailers. I want to see more gameplay. You know, they talked about this E3 about how the, the size of the map is about um, 6% of Grand Theft Auto V. Right. That's pretty big for what kind of game this is. It right. seemed like a very large thing, but in terms of... Uh, they showed a picture of the game. It's bigger than all of the maps of Metal Gear Solid's entire existence combined. So, that's, it's really exciting. Burned to death. Uh, Hold on. But, other than that, I mean, obviously, an interesting musical choice. Usually music in those trailers impact so much mm -hmm. that I'm like, I gotta get that song. This one, not so much. Eh, that's just my personal taste. I didn't feel like the music fit what was going on. Yeah. But, uh, eh. GTA 5 announcement, pretty much knew that was going to happen. So right, but this I'm is this is what you're still anyway looking that. forward to see from the show floor. Well. Like, like what announcements? I am still a little upset that uh, they didn't, like, say, oh, and by the way, this is when the patch is coming out with shit. Oh, for heist. heist. I didn't even think about that. Was, they got I me. Was hoping, I was hoping for at least new modes to talk about or something. Like, okay, that's great. You're finally bringing it to the next gen. But what What about some new modes or something? Some DLC? Like, nothing? Really? Okay. I, I think you might hear some of that from them as they go. I don't think they want to let anybody else that's steal the thunder on that. Yeah. See, that's, that's, the, that's categorically like... What do we want to hear from the show floor that's left unsaid so far? That's a big one. Um, there are a lot of PC exclusive titles that I hope to hear some from uh, while they're while they're here at E3. Yeah, but you said what well, we haven't heard yet, so shut up. I mean, I'm I'm just saying. The way that I read it was, what are we hoping to see from the show floor? I think because that's the note that I have it says, what are we hoping to sleep from, see from the show floor? I'm gonna so, be murdered. I'm going to be murdered. Well, right. I have so much shit on me, JR. You can't let me die. I mean, I can't How stop I it. Hearthstone back to base. <laughs> log out and log back in later. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. I could, I could TP you if you're willing to cheat. Okay. Um, let's see. I, uh, no. I, um, <laughs> I was a little, um, kind of setback that we didn't get any last of us to talk there was a trait there was a a tweet that went out about four to five months back from one of the develop one of the art directors of mm -hmm. last of us and he tweeted a picture of ellie who looked to be quite grown up um and said something about uh it's coming or something like that Okay, well, whether that's DLC or the second Last of Us game, we didn't hear anything about it at, at Sony's. And, and the fact that, that that's a big Sony exclusive in-house developed, I feel like we're not going to hear that at yeah, all. Yeah, if, if they didn't say it there, they probably won't point, I get that that team's working on, um, is working on uh, Uncharted 4 right now. But you could at least teased it, maybe a little teaser about it, right? Yeah. Would have been great. Uh, maybe it's just something they're not ready to show off yet. 
But would have been a good way to, to leave off, the show. I mean, there were plenty of companies showing off stuff. That, yeah, there's plenty of companies showing stuff off that don't really have anything to show off, like Mass Effect 4, for example. Uh, yeah. You know, so... Like I said, that would have been a good way to leave their other, so. to leave their show. Like, oh, hey, uh, one more thing, and right. just have Ellie, you know, older. Um, I'm watching Michaela, sorry. So anyways, uh, I want to hear... Anything else? Anything else that you can think of that you want to hear from the, here? Here. Not that I can think of, but if I think of it, I'll interrupt you. I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably. I'm sure too. Um, there was a game that I saw at PAX, uh, a new RTS game, um, based off of this, well, named and based off of Grey Goo, uh, which is like a, a synthetic, intelligent material. Uh, unfortunately, I can't give you a lot more than that. I'm wearing their shirt today. I, I actually just noticed that. Uh, but I'm wearing uh, So <laughs> I want to see more about that. It's a new RTS. I, I mean, Gab will probably laugh when I say that uh, I'm a big fan of RTSs. But, uh, you know, I, I don't like over competitive stuff. I'm not a huge StarCraft fan, but. I played the shit out of Warcraft 3, and even when I determined that I couldn't beat anybody in Warcraft 3 or any of the Tiberium Wars or anything like that, I still, Red Alert 2 was a huge game for me, I still played it, uh, and, you know, if I couldn't play with a friend or something like that, then I played a mod, so I'm excited to see another IP enter into that arena, because let's be honest, what have we recently gotten from that area, from that genre that was new? So hold on one second. Couldn't even tell the answer to that. Uh, I mean, obviously BlizzCon is going to have some kind of news about Legacy of the Void. It's not necessarily a new game. It's an expansion. So I, I don't know. Uh, RTS is kind of meh. Meh. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. I like RTS games, but most of them fail at delivery. Um, Supreme Commander. I'd love to see another Supreme Commander. That game was awesome. So I, I don't know about that. And then they... What the fuck is that? That's a demon. What is that? We suffered an oh injury. God, what am I doing? Everything's going to be okay. All right. Okay. I covered for you. Good. Something about Supreme Commander 3. What, what the fuck? Or 2. I don't remember. Was it 3? Is it 3? Yeah, it was 3. Next? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think of Planetary Commander. Annihilation. Uh, Planetary Annihilation's okay, but... It, it's, it's early access, so we're not, you know... The play style on that is weird. So, yeah, I'm excited for something you know, new and fun, a, a new IP in that area that's done by a little bit bigger of a company. Um, Grey Goo, again, is what it's called. And I'm hoping to see a lot more of it from the show floor. Oh, if I'm, oh, I'm, are we, I know what you're, are we yeah. still talking about what you don't want to fucking? No, we're, you, we're talking about what we want to see? to see, what we want to see from the show floor. And what you're going to talk about okay. is something I want to say. No, I mean, I think, I think there's still a lot to hear uh, about that game. Else, oh, were what? you? What game? Evolve. Yeah, I was about to say something about Evolve. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, we totally need well, to see they've more. They've been hosting a tournament today, and I was watching, and it was so fucking juicy. God yeah. damn it, I can't wait to play that. Yeah. To be honest with you, if I was on a team, I wouldn't want to be anything but the fucking monster. That's just so fun Ooh, to me. I love monster yeah. movies. I love the idea of being this big monster. I love what I sh what I saw today about it that I loved Ooh. is. Oh my god, there's a different monster type. That means Ooh. they will release different monster types. Yeah, they yes. they were playing the Kraken, and then there's a Behemoth, is oh is the two God. that I heard of. I would love to see some non multiplayer stuff come out of that game, though. I mean, I, listen, I'm all for playing fun games with my buddies, but I like to have some option when my buddies aren't on to play some shit, whether yeah. it's against bots or whatever. Put that 
shit in your game, please. Yeah, One see, of the that's... best things about Smite is that they have bots, so that when my friends aren't online, I can play against bots oh. and practice against them. And, you know, I like playing competitive games, but sometimes I just want to have fun with my friends. And I guess sometimes people have a hard time understanding that. But, listen, I... Douchebags on the internet. I'm just not a big yeah. fan of them. So I like to play games with my friends. Put some fucking work on your artificial intelligence. That's what I want is game developers to work on fucking artificial intelligence to the degree that the shit can play like a human without yeah. the, all the douchebag in between. That's see, that's like a categoric that. answer for the question, right? What what do you want to see still from the show floor that hasn't been shown off yet? And, better uh, AI. Yeah, you want to see better mm -hmm. AI. And not just in any one game, but in all games. And I'm going to agree with you on that 100%. I think games are moving away from being... Uh, moving more towards being so social. And that's great and everything, but not every game. Uh, the Witcher 3, a game that I'm super excited about. Not to, you know, derail, but... Uh, the Witcher 3, a game that I'm very, very excited about. No multiplayer... I'm not worried. I will enjoy the shit out of that game. Multiplayer, no multiplayer, whatever. However, I will enjoy it more, I think, in the single player because they're not they're not giving resources to uh, to, to multiplayer. So, uh, for instance, I'm excited about Battlefront because they've got one team doing the single player and one team doing the multiplayer. And I think that would be a good way to do... Triple uh, A games in the future is God damn it! Instead of instead of working towards, so I do. I want to see more fun single player games. More, you know. I mean, there's a whole there's a whole YouTube industry built off of people playing games, you know, both by themselves and with people, and and that's a really good way to get a game to be really popular. Like, look at any game that's been multi or let's played with any success. Uh, here, douchebags on the internet lies. Uh, any any good multiplayer game that has any level of success. I'm sorry, what was I talking about? I I wasn't even trying to say multiplayer. Douchebags. No <laughs> fucking. Thing. I mean, artificial intelligence is yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Let's be honest. Uh, oh, yeah. it's it's mm. gone to the back burner, which pisses me off. Like, why? Yeah. Like, we're still playing with AI from decades ago in terms of ability like i'm so sick of playing against bots this fucking one like instant know exactly your pathing because that's the only way that they can fucking build them stop it yeah. work better on some better ai it's a shame that next generation titles have ai that's fucking stupid absolutely walks around like a four-year-old in Minecraft running into walls not knowing what to do. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Work on it. Get better at it. That's yeah. a demand. That's that's what I was saying okay. was more more single player I don't care what too. competitive douchewads say. Yeah. I like playing against AI and I want to play against AI that acts just like a fucking player but doesn't have to cheat to do it like with a fucking aimbot or something. Right. Well, because you, you and I talked at one point about there are mods for StarCraft that make the AI act like a player, which is easier in that sense because, I, if I'm not mistaken, they just do, like, a time to build, right? It's like, make this here, make this here. It's not it's not and actually like technically that improving super that. super easy. Yeah. But they still have the insane AI that fucking cheats, even though they claimed yeah. that wasn't going to be the thing. So shame yeah. on Blizzard for that. Yeah. But, I, I mean, I want to be able to play against AI with my friends and not have my fucking competitive friends go, oh, fucking bots, man. Like, yeah. god damn it. I think, I think it's safe to say douchewad competitive friends at that point. <laughs> uh, no. no. I understand the, the desire no, yeah, to play against players because there's unpredictability. Yeah. I mean, mm. a, a case in point would be a game that involves, mm. like, like take, take for example, Left 4 Dead, right? Mm. Left 4 Dead 2 is a great example. If I'm playing against a player and I'm hiding in shrubbery that they can't visually see me through, they don't just start shooting through the fucking shrubbery. Yeah, That's lazy bots. development on Valve's part when it comes to that fucking game. Oh, now they're shooting me because they know I'm there because they can fucking see through it because they don't actually use a visual cue 
or some shit. Right, yeah. I, I get what you're saying, yeah. Fucking don't I mean, freeze up on me, game! Come on, game. So, uh, yeah, that's that's definitely what something the? we both want to see from the show floor. Better bots, more more single player. I want to see more about Grey Goo. I want to see more about Evolve. Uh, any titles... Well, we talked about uh, Last of Us 2, but we both don't think that's really going to be likely. I wouldn't mind if, like, the last day of E3, Sony was just like, hey, here's a here's a sneaky trailer. A cheeky little trailer sneaking in at the end. I wouldn't have it that way. They would have... Something that big, they would not fucking miss the opportunity. We'll play. Alright. Uh, so anyways... Where the um, fuck did I come from here? Honestly, I'm so fucking lost. Dude, I wandered around for so long and was so lost that now I'm just, I'm literally walking around our backyard. Um, <laughs> low in the grass. six diamonds. Huh? I am lost in the nether. With, like, the most, everything I came here for. Alright, anyways. Alright. So, anything else that you can think of? Any other games that... Maybe unannounced no, 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 games that you're hoping to see. All right, uh, I want to see more from Blizzard. I, uh, Blizzard's been doing this thing where they're talking at other Blizzard's conventions. Not. They do. I mean, they yeah, announced... they're not going to do anything this convention. Uh. Well, they sometimes have lately been sometimes announcing like uh, uh, you know that, but they're not going to. They got BlizzCon coming up. Anything big, they're going to hold out for BlizzCon. I'm not even talking about necessarily new games or anything like that. I'm talking about, like, I'd love some more news about uh, Heroes, right? And I think E3 is a good place to do it. Uh, they'll probably announce that at BlizzCon. Yeah. The, the uh, Heroes of the Storm release date. Come on. Or oh, I mean, the, the release date, absolutely. But I'm just talking about any, any inkling of information. I'm hungry for info on that game. Uh, I, I will say this, a lot of stuff has been said about, uh, Destiny, but thinking back, it's not really any information about Destiny. It's all like, oh, uh, this is, we, we know when it's coming out. We, it's a beta. You know what they I'm saying? They showed some more story stuff, so we kind of get a sense of the story now. Yeah. But that's, that's about that's it. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind seeing some more about that, uh... God, I cannot get enough of the Division and Siege. Oh my God, that fucking game. Let's talk about Best in Show. How about that? Yeah, so or let's let's do shit this. Shit we were most excited about. Yeah, so let's do this. No callers today, uh, which is going to happen. So let's go ahead and round up. Uh, who wins from the conferences? We talked about the conferences. Who wins the conferences? Um... If I'm talking from an investment point, I feel like Sony took away the victory okay. on that one. Is there, is there another point? If you're point a Sony you're investor talking? right now, you are absolutely happy. Yeah. Or you're excited. You have no problems investing money in it because it's doing so well. If you're a Microsoft investor, you might still be happy, but you're probably a little. um on the edge a little bit like oh geez they're making big changes you know they, they, because whenever a company change when a company says we're not gonna do this and then turns around and does it that's <laughs> that's a worrisome thing as an investor okay because that's the that's the company originally either making a bad decision or making a bad decision now that's what it comes down to it's either made a bad decision or yeah. it's, it's making one now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, from the from the perspective of a gamer, uh, I think, yeah, Sony wins it. Um, I mean, Nintendo doesn't really compete. I don't think Nintendo's a competitor in that. Nintendo! But, <laughs> <laughs> but if they were, I still couldn't give them a win. I mean, they gave... Their fans a lot of information. They did the bayonetta thing. That's really cool. I mean, they 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 did pretty well. I'd say they would have beat Microsoft actually. I think Nintendo beat Microsoft. I think Microsoft came dead last this year. 
there wasn't a whole lot. I mean, all they have is Halo right now this year that they're talking about. I mean, if you're nitpick, if you're trying to find games to be excited about for the Xbox, you're probably nitpicking on stuff that you don't really care about. Like if you're naming off racing games and shit, come on. Unless yeah. you're an actual, ra I don't give a fuck about racing games, so I'm not gonna sit here. Even if if, if if fucking Sony came out and the only thing they had was Uncharted 4, I'm not going to sit here and go, listen, there's that racing game. Look, nobody fucking cares, okay? Yeah. Madden. Oh, but Madden or fucking FIFA. Like, who cares? I mean, if you like FIFA, that's great. You know a new fucking one is coming out every year. There's nothing... This is, if it's exclusive to a console, yeah, that's probably a strong point. But that's only if it's a licensed thing like FIFA or NASCAR or something like that. You're not, you're not going to get pulled to a system from something like Blur or some shit like that. You know? Right. That's just yeah. not going to happen. Yeah. Anything goes for anything that, that fucking Sony can come out with. Yeah, Wipeout. Oh, big deal. Nobody cares. Okay? Oh, that burnout uh, good. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to even say that Zelda is a system seller. Like... Anybody that cares about Zelda, Mario, Donkey Kong, yeah, they already if they have it. give a fuck enough to spend money on it, they already mm -hmm. have the Wii U, okay? Yeah. Because just out of anticipation. It's not going to make moms pick it up for their kids or kids go, Mom, now I want this. No, it's not going to happen. Yeah. So, absolutely. And especially investors. Investors don't give shit about that. Um, I'm pretty sure most of the investors for Nintendo are Japanese, and they only care about tradition, and that's why Nintendo just keeps up with tradition. Hey, this has worked. Okay, keep doing it. That's yeah. Continue. That's yeah, all they care about. And so, like we said, Sony showed Please a lot continue. of growth. You've been in business for X amount of years. Yeah, Sony Sony showed a lot of growth uh, this time around. A lot of changes microsoft and a had lot of nothing new coming out either in terms yeah. of hardware i mean listen weird. i'm gonna be honest with you when microsoft said hey guys the xbox is gonna have a fucking cat six on there and run your make it your cable box i was excited they have showed zero support for that since it came out i think we talked about this yesterday we talked about uh I mean, make a deal with the fucking TV providers to go, hey, oh, you're a family and you want, uh, you know, TV and a game system? Well, here's your deal. Call and order Time Warner Cable now and get an Xbox. Absolutely. People would go bananas for that shit. Are you kidding me? Do you know how many poor-ass parents would have oh, their kids an Xbox? I mean, like, they're... Yeah, exactly. Well, just not only that, but college guys. Oh yeah, I mean people living on their own, or yeah, they there's... don't. Net, I don't watch cable, so yeah, absolutely. If a if a you know, I mean, I would love Sony to do that because I already have a place. Yeah, so exactly. I would just be like, hey, that's great. <laughs> now I and now I don't have to buy a smart TV. I just use this. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, you know, that's, so that's what's great about PlayStation TV is I can invest in that for $100 and have a smart TV. Boom. And that's exactly what I think makes you lose. Like last year, I would have been hard pressed to say that there was a winner of E3 because everybody stumbled to the barn. But this year, right. two companies kept up with what they said last year and neither of them was Microsoft. We can just put it that way. Uh, Microsoft and Nintendo. don't. <laughs> yeah. Microsoft <laughs> said a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff last year, a whole bunch of stuff. Most of it sounded really cool, and then this year, come coming three, none of it, none of it has made it there. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not impressed. You're not yeah, showing me. I'm walk away. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's like they could have come out on the, they could have come out on the stage, and they could have gone, uh, hey everybody. What the. We're going to just show you six game trailers, showed the six game trailers, dropped the mic and walked off. I didn't need any of the talking in between with them. There was nothing, there was nothing important said because they weren't talking about, I mean, if yeah, all you're going to do is talk no, about games, let the games do the talking. Right. But you didn't have any exclusives. All of the talking that Sony did was like shit that you, you had to hear because they're talking about what their plans are with like PlayStation plus and shit like that. You didn't get anything like that out of Microsoft. It was, like you said, just a game. They just come out and say, here's some game trailers, guys. Yeah. And, and be done with it. I don't... What are you wasting your time for? Yeah. It was, it was just not... Microsoft a, yeah. has 
we've been doing blibbity blibbity for blibbity blibbity. I mean, I get yeah. there and talking to investors, but what can they say to investors that they haven't already said yeah. last year? So yeah, Microsoft loses, uh, Sony wins. I think it's pretty much unanimous Sorry. at the uh, those gentlemen gamers offices. Uh, Anna, do you care to weigh in? Nintendo, Nintendo. Nah. <laughs> so that's what I figured. All right, thanks. I, I didn't. For those of you who don't know what the fuck I'm talking yeah. about, uh, back in the day when Sega Genesis and Nintendo were the two companies rivaling each yeah. other, Sega Genesis' TV commercial used to be Sega does what Nintendo don't. Okay. Yeah. God. I think everybody got it. I don't. Well, there's probably a lot of people out there, little young whippersnappers that don't know. Yeah, that are that are totally on. watching our stream right Listen, now. Listen, I'm getting really pissed off about this. I cannot. Get, I forget. You find your I forget way that out we're doing this as a, that we're doing oh, this as both a YouTube a video and a, and a God podcast. God damn it! Yep. God damn it. Tell him, Gabler. So, anyways, uh, this is where I was earlier. <laughs> you suck. That sucks oh, for you. So, so we've gone over who wins. We've gone over what we're hoping to see from the show floor. We've gone over the conferences themselves. Uh, I mean, I think we've touched on a lot of this, but let's let's talk about this. Uh, actually, let's do this. Let's do this real quickly. What games are are receiving too much hype? What games are not like you know they they came to e3 and they're just not panning out for for what we're expecting from them do you have any like that uh, apparently my fucking obs has been broken go ahead yeah all right well i was uh, done uh, you, was you go first okay uh i i had some in in mind when i was when i was typing this up honestly can't remember a single one of them right now so uh <laughs> It's real professional. Probably should have put that in the notes, in the show notes. Unity is overhyped. DP coming in saying Unity is overhyped. I'm going to say Unity? What, what, Unity. Hold on, Assassin's hold on, Creed hold on. Unity. Multiplayer Assassin's Creed. Oh, listen. No, listen. Hold on a minute. Hold right. on a damn minute, All DP. Right. Because that is not over. That's what you do to save a game from being just repetitive bullshit. If they would have just came out and went, hey, it's the French Revolution, it would have been like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> but there were like four player co op. There's absolutely hype for that because never before have you been able to do that. Right. The single player can Like, the multiplayer on that game has been fine. But what that game has always needed was co op. What's. How do you make a game better? Co-op, plain and simple. Boom, co-op. Boom, I mean, go. again, I am a, I am a person who is like, uh, make me a good single-player game. But realistically, a lot of games have been improved with co-op. I will say this: uh, it's an it's the Electronic Entertainment well, Expo. I I what? I think um, in regards to that, I think it's safe to assume that Ubisoft will be able to pull this off. Fantastically, if you look at the games that they've came out with recently, look, listen, they have what is their last three big titles? Far Cry 3, Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed 4, uh, Black Flag, right? That's like right. their three last biggest titles. What did they do mm -hmm. this time around to make it go? Well, Watch Dogs obviously had a little bit of flub going on. I personally had fun with the game, yeah. and I love the fact that when somebody mm -hmm. joins your game to do stuff with you in free play mode, you look like the fucking antagonist, they look like some random scrub, but to them, you're the random scrub and they're the antagonist. Mm -hmm. That's perfect, and they can do that with Assassin's Creed uh, Unity. They can absolutely do that to where everybody feels like they're the hero, but at the same time, it doesn't immerse your buddies out of it. Nobody, it happens in every game, right? I want to be the hero and your friends get stuck with the whatever the fuck. Not this time around. This this time around, they could do it completely differently, and everybody could share the same experience at the same time without stepping on each other's toes. And that's why I love the idea of Ubisoft making it co-op. Not only that, but Assassin's uh, not Assassin's Creed, but Far Cry 4 is doing the same thing: co-op gameplay where right. your buddies can drop it in. And what the fuck do they even mean? That if you own a PS4, your buddy mm -hmm. can drop into the game without owning it. What does that even mean? Well, it's, what? I mean, we've seen that Somebody on Nintendo. Explain to me how that works. It's download play on Nintendo 3DS. I I have a copy of the game. I go into Is a it? yeah. I I go into a game mode. This says download play. 
you can download a, a watered down version of the game. You don't get full access. And then you can play with me. And like I said, it's probably going to be like, oh, that's that's why the guy was in the gyrocopter, right? Because like, oh, you don't have the game. You're stuck to a gyrocopter. You can fly around. You can be useful. You know, more useful than just some scrub walking around. But uh, it's it limits your ability to play the game. Which is fine. I got no problems with it. Let me talk about this real quick. Okay, so it's Electronic Entertainment Expo. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of touch both sides real quickly just to kind of play a little bit of devil devil's advocate with the overhype on Assassin's Creed Unity thing. Uh, hang on one second, DP. Uh, so one, it's Electronic Entertainment Expo. Things that are new are going to draw more attention. So yes, obviously a game that's you know several iterations old suddenly having uh, co-op is huge is really really big however uh far cry 4's co-op has not gotten it. i mean people are like saying best of show at assassin's creed unity i don't think it deserves that hype it's a it's another iteration of a game no. i'm excited well, for it so that's I what i think, think he means by overhype good game yeah no it's gonna be an amazing well, game i don't I wouldn't say overhyped. I would say that people are looking, not looking at, there's a, other games that are better. Right. No doubt. Right. Far Cry 4 by far would be way better than Assassin's Creed Unity. I mean, but that's just because people have never had that. Like, Far Cry 3 had co-op in it. It was just like levels that you could co-op. Assassin's Creed has had nothing like that. So this is a big deal. Instead of just another Assassin's Creed with some multiplayer aspect, now you're getting to actually do co-op. So obviously people are going to be super excited about it. I don't I I, I agree with you that yes, it's in in that regards it's overhyped. Yeah, well, yeah it's it's received it's received a hype bump that's quite hyped about um the fact that it's co-op. Yeah. I mean, there's no uh that. Yeah, I was prepared to say um, that there were a couple of games that were receiving overhyped, but as of today, as of the, the show floor, not a whole bunch more announcements coming out about them. So, uh, I'm not really seeing a whole bunch of, uh, I'm not really seeing a whole bunch of, what, what'd you say? Tell me what those games are, and I'll tell you why you're wrong. No, I've already said I, I don't think I don't think that I was right. I think that I thought that there were games receiving a lot of hype. Like I'm going to be honest, I I felt personally that during the Sony conference for Grand Theft Auto V, a game that's already out and is re-releasing oh, yeah, on is on next gen consoles, that there's no reason for that amount of cheer. I'm I'm excited. Trust me, right, yeah. I'm excited. But yeah, that's, not, that's not that's not that's not oh, breaking gaming yeah. news. You know what I'm saying? We knew that that was coming. Right, right. Was, yeah, we knew yeah. the announcement was, was coming. Obvious. It was obvious that it was on the way. It didn't need to happen at E3. It certainly shouldn't have happened on Sony's stage. Like, and who gives a fuck? And no release date. And more importantly, there's no release date, and there's no talk no of anything extra. Like, no additional content. Yep. Like what? Yep. What? Yeah, we agree on that. That that that's yeah, that's absolutely. retardedly overhyped. Guys, guess what? We're gonna get what we are gonna get. Oh shit! Somebody exploded. I'm gonna probably need a TP in the next five minutes if I start stalling <laughs> again. This is pissing me off. Okay. So, anyways, yeah, definitely. Um, Assassin's Creed getting a little overhyped for what it is. Still a great game. Still really excited about it. Uh, do, so would you would you respond the same way if I said I thought that Arkham Knight received a little too much hype? Absolutely not. Arkham yeah. Knight is definitely worth the hype. It's the last of the series. It's the most anticipated. Not only that, but two things that are really important about that game that make the hype uh, totally legit is mm -hmm. one, uh, mm -hmm. we're getting to use the Batmobile to drive around the city. And right. it's not something like fucking Arkham Origins where mm -hmm. you just call it in and it transports you somewhere with like some kind of fast, like fast travel. travel. Okay. You're actually going to get to drive it like a vehicle. Mm -hmm. And two, not only is it the wrap-up, but you're in Gotham City. It's You're finally, finally we get to play in Gotham City and the fucking place looked huge. The map looked a massive, just fucking ridiculously massive. 
I got you. A massive. Yeah, a massive. All right. I mean, I, granted, I haven't played a whole lot of any of the Arkham games, okay. so that's why I was kind of going off of uh, off of that uh, to to judge. I will say this. Okay, let's talk about this, and then I think we'll move to best in show. Uh, Evil Within, the Evil Within, looks looks really really cool. Where was that? Seems really fun, but nothing is being said about it from what I can tell, and still people are talking about well, it. Well, like, it is a SquareSoft thing, so maybe that'll be a today or tomorrow thing. Yeah, I mean, because we didn't see any Final Fantasy yet either. That's so that probably should have been a game I mentioned in what am I looking to see from the show floor? But again, I I failed to do my show notes. I'll be better next time. <laughs> uh, so next time more professional. So is that? Children. Do we think we have everything from everybody uh, as far as what's being what's being overhyped, overpushed? Well, I just want to say that next time when we say call-ins, DP, that's when you need to probably state your goddamn opinion. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> well, the chat can always the chat is Daddy. the chat is free to the chat is free to give their opinion, but to have your voice on the stream, that's an honor and you have to you have to be called in for that. Which we're about to do another call in as we talk about best in show. So uh, I, I posted it on Twitter, and of course our our three listeners, who are all people we know in in real life, <laughs> are, are have not have not elected to call in. People that we support. Yeah. So so uh, currently no call ins for. Or best in show, uh, what what games looked amazing. So we'll go ahead and we'll talk about that for a little bit. If you guys wanna wanna chime in, you could do so in the chat, or of course you can you can call us at one eight hundred join the raid call. Uh, stand sit around in the lounge. Let me know who you are. One eight hundred get raid call. You fucking man. What is one eight hundred? I've linked it like a million times. Oh, no! Oh, run, that's run, not good. That's run. bad information. DP, you're actually calling me. Oh, um, pop. <laughs> you're calling me in real life. That's I. I'm not gonna answer that, but I appreciate your. <laughs> I I appreciate that move. That was well done. Uh, there he goes. All right. He's probably like fuck fucking, guy fucking didn't lava answer. vein. Is what that? Oh no. Okay, no. I gotcha. So, uh, so anyway, one eight hundred raid called asshole. One eight hundred. I'll I'll repost the link here in a minute. Uh, and because I don't know, maybe there are people who are watching who just aren't signed in. I don't know, but uh, you know, feel free to. Oh wait a minute! I forgot to mention this. Something I was looking for forward to, but didn't hear from. Oh, great call, says DP. Dead Space. Where the fuck is Dead Space uh, 4? Like, what kind of wood is this? And she's like, it's bark. Dude. It's not wood, Mom. Wait, bark. Is, there, is there a Dead Space? I didn't know that there was another Dead Space coming. There's no... That's what I'm saying. Where's the next Dead Space? I oh. mean, Dead Space 3 sold like hotcakes. Where's Dead Space 4, EA? Milk that shit. Well, if there's one thing I want you to milk, it's Dead Space. I want more Dutch beers. Okay, so I need more of that in my life. <laughs> One eight hundred didn't watch I mean, E three. In, in between, yeah. in between two and three, we got like all kinds of shit. We got fucking anime that came out of it. There was side games. Where the fuck is the Dead Space? DP says, "Where's the next Mario There's game?" There's not enough survival horror space games. Who gives uh, a fuck about Mario? They well listen. There's a Mario game every fucking year. It's Call of Duty they, now. They had Mario Maker, where you get to make a Mario map and then play it either in the 3D yeah. world or the yeah, 2D exactly. world. Exactly. There is a new Mario game. You shit. It's on fucking <laughs> Mario, Mario Maker. Maker. Yeah. It's on the DS. Looks fun. You I'm super excited shit about it. And make Mario happen. Yeah, I'm yeah, excited about it. Looks it. cool. Totally. Yeah, I'll play it. Uh. I don't know, man. Dead Space would have been an EA thing, and I didn't watch a whole lot of the EA conference, so they could have talked about it. Nothing uh, was talked about, no. Yeah, it was, okay. all, The EA conference was shit. It was the, was the fucking bot, shit. It, Microsoft's conference be EA conference. Where they <laughs> fucking showing off. It showed off, like, two fucking games that weren't even... It was just art. Yeah. Battlefront from DICE was literally, look, here's a character running and getting on a bike, and then here's a fucking 
some shrubbery. Someone get that out of What? I mean, it looks great. That's great and awesome, but it, it, where's the gameplay? Oh, man. And then the same thing came out of We're Mass finding. Effect 4. It's like some characters you'll never see ever. Really? I've never seen them that way? That's great. Because usually they're in action and moving and not just the horse. Start and start. Oh. Dude, I'm oh, beneath cool. the fucking stronghold. I have no idea where I am. Should I TP you to me? <sighs> if I had water, I would make obsidian. Oh, you're not in the same dimension, so we can't. I can't teleport you to me. Where's the portal? Go into the TP, into the Nether portal, and then summon me. CDB, it's 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 Where's a good deal. Oh, shit. Oh, here I'll take you to the portal, Anna. So, anyways, uh, so yeah, there's a, there's a Mario game coming. Looks cool. I'm really excited about it. Uh, what were you talking about just now? Something rage, full of rage. Oh yeah, the EA conference sucked, sucked, sucked balls. I totally agree though. The EA conference, I mean, I barely watched that shit. I, I paid more attention. I have never in my life paid more attention. Ubisoft is always Ubisoft. I, I'm starting to like Ubisoft a lot. And listen, don't get me wrong. I love EA. I'm not one of these guys on the internet. Ooh, yay. All they care about is money. Of course they do. They're a fucking... They're a bunch of That's billionaires. What you care about when you're in the hey hey kid real world Colin yeah money makes the difference in your life yeah <laughs> no, uh, no 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 you want to get a house you can't buy that on your fucking Super Smash Brothers skills okay? yeah dude uh hey hey kid money. um they can't make the games you like without making the money you know like they they have to yeah, make money to understand. make those games so. I hate that they're successful. Yeah. So, all right. So we've they're established. Destroying game companies. We're not those people. We're certainly not those people. Uh, you know. So we're not just bashing on EA for no reason. But I will say, there's DP. Uh, I will say that uh, the. Oh my God! Him showing up has has fucked me up. Hey DP, hang on yeah. one second. Hang on one second. Yeah. You got me showing up? Fucked everything up? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want me to fuck up the show? So listen, uh, no. I, I, I don't hate on EA. I, I'm really excited for Sims 4, but they couldn't show they couldn't show me anything that was going to sell me yeah, that yeah, game. Totally. I know, I am. Uh, I mean, they didn't, like, yeah, they didn't show anything that didn't already happen. Yeah, they're, yeah that I, mean, I wasn't already aware like of. Like, we already know, hey, it looks good, and it's a new Sim. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of videos for it, so I'm maybe it's my fault for paying too much to attention. Death. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. So anyways, all right. So we've talked about that. We've talked about that part of it. Now let's talk about the best in show. All right? Now we're going to talk about what we were excited to see, what we can't get enough of, what we want more of. You know, all Amiibo. of that. So I'll stop me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Amiibo, the the oh, figure wait. system for for uh, Nintendo. Yeah, they didn't go into it enough when they had the uh, digital thing. What they were doing, the yeah, video the digital direct thing. But they, if you go to the treehouse and they went into more depth on it, it was actually really really cool of what these figurines and stuff can do, and how they can join you in the game. Like they're they're not an extension of you yourself in the game. They're a second. They're like a computer, like on their own. They're, they're another character. I can play with you. Can I, can I just say that um, in the future, from now on, during these talk shows, uh, whenever we have anything Nintendo related, we have to bring in DP expert. DP, DP <laughs> Nintendo expert. I like that. That's a good idea. Yeah. 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 No. Uh, oh, oh, oh. He's oh, teleporting. Oh, expert. Oh. <laughs> Nintendo. And what else? What else can he be the I'm expert? Out. He's also the Apple expert. Is what oh, he is. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ah, fuck that. <laughs> We're gonna I, talk I, to. Have him. you seen the new Finder face? It's, it's more smiley. It's more <laughs> smiley <laughs> in Yosemite. Yeah. Hey, how excited are you for this news that uh, Nintendo and Apple are pairing up to make a console? Simple. It's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> he Apple actually work with other people. <laughs> he got a boner for a second, and then he realized oh, that Nintendo. Apple's the scum of the earth, so he <laughs> wasn't excited about it. All right. Uh, so no, sorry, yeah. Sorry. Amiibo looks sorry. awesome. Both companies do not like working with other companies. Like Nintendo likes working with their own shit, and then Apple likes working with their own shit. So they would never work together. Yeah. 
unless it's unless it's a post-apocalyptic nightmare realm and I'm forcing them to I'm like all right head of Nintendo head of Apple you have only one chance to live and that is work together and make an amazing console that sells 40 billion units and then they're like all right well I guess we got to do it because otherwise we'll die you know another I like game I think that was really good guy. was um, No Man's Sky. Like, oh god! I oh know. yes, I was I was I waiting for somebody to bring it up. Reminded it. Yeah. Oh, the fucking Minecraft in space. Let's talk about it. Let's, oh, I love it. Let's talk about it. it. That's that's oh, totally my uh, my type of game. It. Like casual, ah! all the way, <laughs> just exploring the worlds that you can get to. Yeah. Oh my god. I was just eating. <laughs> I was holding my eating. <laughs> So so let's talk about this uh, on the on what? the showing Did you of try the to game. Use water in the Nether. Yeah. Did you I just forgot. try to use water? Forgot. Shut up. In the Nether. Uh, so anyways, uh, so he the guy the guy who's playing the game right. His name was Sean. Uh, and what was the name of the company? Hello goodbye. No, that's a that's a song. Uh, music group. uh, give me a second. Hold on, I'll pull it back up. I think it is Hello Worlds or something. Games, Hello, uh, yeah, studio. Hello Games. It's Hello oh, Games. Oh God, that that game, dude. Oh. He he's he walks out of a cave, sees minerals. So I'm excited about that. There's obviously going to be a resource system. He sees the <laughs> yeah, minerals. Yeah, he was like super shy in the stage too. Start. Yeah. He what? You start on your own world. So I'm pretty sure that means that there's going to be. Uh, oh god. I mean, they, they, they flew into space and shot asteroids, and they, it was like c constant destruction. Like, it was. Yeah. It destroyed the asteroid. And was I liked how those asteroids blew up, by the way. Dynamic like, asteroid really destruction. Blew up. Good. Oh my god. And, and, yes. and it looked like it was gonna happen, but it didn't happen. But I can imagine that if you do that, and there's ships like chasing you and you fly through it then that oh man that's gonna create Debris a situation yeah problems for them. oh my god i cannot i cannot fathom like you could be flying full speed towards an asteroid <clears throat> just blow a hole in the middle of it and just get through with your small ships but then the big ship can't follow you so. yeah oh my god total total fucking uh you know oh you're han solo and hide inside the big asteroid and the fucking that i'm excited to be a fucking worm yeah some kind of moon i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited because when he scanned that spoiler. When he scanned that big dinosaur guy, uh, it was like, oh, this was previously discovered he by... He's discovered. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, so it was, excited. It was really good. That, that I think, that got game... Uh, by show, I'm sorry, I don't know how to talk. Words are hard right now. Showstopper for DP because he has no idea what to <laughs> so say. So much emotion! Oh, God! A zombie pigman came through the portal. Die! <laughs> I would say that that game, though, like an initial thing, like it needs... Probably a lot more polish. Like, I think I think in 2016, or 2016 yeah. is when it's come out. Really? Because yeah. I would absolutely pay fucking early access for that game. Yeah. Scene. That's yeah. what needs to happen. Is the hype about that game? Well, it's been it's been Steam, happening. It's been in development pay. probably oh. since it, 2013. Like it's been in, in development since last year. It's, it's not like a Sony exclusive. Sony they said yeah. they said yeah. first on Sony. First so on PlayStation. Like a month after it's been on uh, PlayStation, or like PlayStation will get the beta testing maybe for it. That might be something. Like you know, they they've cornered the market on beta testing. Sony has a little bit as yeah. far as console. Well, fuck yeah, they they, they said, hey guys, did you want to play uh, Destiny? Here you go, you'll Guess have what? it this Thursday. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be here. Like. <laughs> Guess Microsoft will have to wait oh until this God, fall. I can't fucking wait till Thursday. Oh, oh, if there's not an NDA, we're streaming the shit out of it. I gotta say, if there's not an NDA, oh we're streaming God, the poop out of it. I'll tune in. Absolutely. I'll watch you guys stream it. Fucking lutely. What is this? Uh, real quick, while there's a lull, Banana, send me that anti uh, username. So, yeah, I absolutely I, I did, get did get a on. Get a uh, it's... It's probably my. It's probably going to be a game that I play, pay very close attention to. I would love, I would love for it to come out and then be like, oh, hey guys, by the way, um, that's that's console first for PlayStation. You can get it early access like next week on fucking Steam right now. I would be super excited to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think it'll happen, but I, I would love for that to happen. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Not a best in show, but if we're talking about good games, I just want to throw it out there. The internet hates it 
oh, 12 year old kids, whatever. Uh, if it, if it ever fuck? hits a, if it hits a good price on PS4 or PC, I will pick up, uh, the new Call of Duty that they showed on the Microsoft stage. I'll get it. Uh, the new, really cool. uh, Advanced Warfare thing? Yes, absolutely. How do I'm you gonna... feel about, uh, how do you feel about Hardline? I hardline has cool. has gotten I mean it's it's cool but it's a DLC and it's got no real attention for me uh you know Yeah I mean I'll play it don't get me wrong I'll play it if my premium that I paid for with Battlefield 2 happens to cover the purchase of that I'm set if not I might wait for a sell and pick it up I think uh EA was kind of Stretching for straws or whatever ideas this year for a game. That's been for straws, yeah. yeah. It's weird. Swipe. It's weird that because well, not really. I mean, you got you got Mirror's Edge coming, which I'm excited about. Which, by the way, really? another fucking EA game that didn't have any actual gameplay shown, other than I mean, there was some gameplay shown, but it was another talking developers over shit bullshit. I just hope it's not like the first Mirror's Edge, where there's a lot of uh, they tried to incorporate fighting elements into a free running game. Well, the last game, the fighting was quirky and weird. I like that this game seems to have more significance on the fighting because the world's gotten worse or something like that, so hmm. she has to become a fighter. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a little interested in it to see where it goes in that regard. I'd love to have the combat be less janky. I, I still like that it's more about one hits as you move. It's still about movement, so it's not going to be like you stop and do martial arts. It's going to be, you still have to keep running at a speed and jump off the wall and kick a guy in the face. So that's exciting. We're yeah. talking about Mirror's Edge here? Yeah. Yeah, I, I will definitely, I will definitely, um, I mean, again, I told Gabler this yesterday. Was never really big into Mirror's Edge. I think all I did was, uh, real quickly, this needs to be said. Hang on, sorry, sorry everybody who's watching and stuff. Uh, Anthony, if you mess up this world... I will probably have to murder you in real life. Okay. We will murder you. So, anyways, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I like my favorite thing. Oh God, a creeper! Uh, my favorite thing about the first. Uh, oh my God, what's the name of it? Oh, what the fuck? My <laughs> my favorite thing. God Almighty, my favorite thing about uh, Mirror's my Edge was the song. Oh my god, that's a long ass fall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So so my favorite thing about Mirror's Edge was the song. I was I was super impressed by the that by the music in that game and Well, they're uh, using the same song it's just re like sounds remastered. Yeah. So I'm I'm fine what with is all it of that. Your background fucking shit. What? You know is what's weird is that Nintendo didn't even have any anything yeah. any time at all for Mario uh, Party 10 in their conference. But I think it that was pretty good. Like you can play if you're playing using the gamepad, you'll be Bowser. But if you're using the uh, the pro controllers or the other con Wii controllers, yeah, then you'll that sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, I mean, sounds like something that. they should do. Like it's like Mario Party games seem to also help Nintendo sales. Like yeah, I like Mario oh yeah, Party they're games. they're a huge I love, sales. Love Mario Party. I mean, listen, this is the year for that, right? Like, uh, you've got a Mario Kart already came out. Uh, a Mario Party's coming out like early next year, and a Super Smash and a Smash Brothers is coming out. I mean, that's that's their wheelhouse, you know. And a and a Legend of Zelda game announced. I mean, absolutely. I tell you what, I was pissed off by at uh at at the Nintendo conference, and that is stop releasing fucking Call of Duty based Pokemon. I'm sick of a Pokemon game every year. Uh, I mean, it's it's a remaster re-release of games that already exist. I don't need that. I don't want it, and I don't need it. Um, what if they had a Pokemon thing that was like Amiibo? Because they already said they have a 3DS Amiibo thing coming out. Okay. And they already have a Pikachu figurine that they showed. Sure. All right. Great. Uh, put it on the Wii U. Don't fucking bring it over to 3DS. Hey, sounds like a great idea to me. I will definitely vote for that. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm so upset that so much good shit gets put on the DS and not enough on the Wii U. Yeah. Like, come on. Really? I, I feel, get that it works. The, uh, the pushback for uh, Smash Brothers on the 3DS, like they're pushing it back, I guess, a little, little while. Well, it's still coming out before the Wii U version, right? Yeah, which is still kind of weird to me. I guess... 
It's to get people hyped up for the Wii U version, or there's just they think the 3DS well, platform I mean, will be Wii better U for it. Is what they want to sell, and they know yeah. Super Smash Brothers is a seller, so they're bringing it out on that first. Did you guys watch the uh, the the I'm fucking kidding, the tournament thing. The what? The Invitationals. Yeah, the Invitationals. Yeah, I watched a good bit of the Invitationals. I watched some saw of some it. cool yeah. stuff. Uh, um, that was pretty cool. Very I hope they do, like, at the end of that, Reggie was on stage and he was like, you know, we're, we're probably going to be doing more of this. Like, this is for the fans, that so we like doing this type of stuff for the fans and having competition in tournaments with this game. And nice. Right. Uh, One second here. It seems like they want to go competitive. I'm going to I'm gonna bring into the call uh, Sinbon, a.k.a. Ryan. Ryan, Ryan, welcome to those Gentlemen Gamers Talk Radio. How are you doing today? All right, Mike's Sorry, not Mike. working. Mike's not working properly. <laughs> so there you go, Ryan. Everybody, thank you, thank you, Ryan, for joining the show. I'm it's gonna like, go ahead and get you out of here. Real radio. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, turn down, turn down your radio in the background, sir. I, I, I'm getting feedback. <laughs> There's an echo. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, uh, when you get that fixed, we'll we'll hear from you, Ryan. But uh, so. Yeah, I, I'm tired of the I'm tired of annual Pokemons. When they originally started to show it, and uh, it was like it was you know it was a real life little per, little girl boy whatever ambiguous Asian, uh, you know, and they were and they were walking around and exploring hey, stuff. What? Who took my fucking horse's thing? You know what I'd rather Not have I. them do if they're gonna do oh, annual so Pokemon. Sure. I'd rather ex them expand the Kalos region instead yep. of doing remasters i you know what i'd be fine with add dlc to fucking x and y like take what you're doing yeah. take the game that you did and make a dlc for Expand x and y Calus region yeah absolutely yeah, Calus region yeah yeah so, yeah that's what you're saying i get it yeah, so well because they I, mean, I don't care if it comes in a form of either a full game or dlc because or maybe like a since they already have the region maybe they can make the video game like i don't know 15 20 bucks well because they had this like whole thing dollars. They had this whole thing, right, with the train station that you could run into in uh, Pokemon. By the way, Pokemon spoilers, if you're not far in the story, uh, there's a train station. And whoa, like, whoa, whoa. Right oh, He's shit, there's a train here. station. Play it. This show will constantly have spoilers. Yeah. yeah. I think I think we should say yeah, that, talk that show Tuesday. Gonna... The... Go like that. That's not in the central town, like not in the center of Kellos, but on the, the outskirts. Yeah, it's like the Paris. Yeah, it's the, the, the Paris mountain. place. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they've done nothing with it, and it was specifically cool because it was like, oh, that man, that could, that could open up a whole bunch of like shit for us. I feel should do something, and it yeah. doesn't do anything. And it doesn't it really do makes shit. Because in, in Black and White and Black and White 2, like, the train system took you places yeah. to other islands in the game. Yeah. You just had to unlock it by beating the game first, and it's like, okay, well, I yeah. beat the game. Well, I have it, actually, but... <laughs> um, now okay. I, can, I can ride the train and do Pokemon battles, and then I'll get to a new place I can explore. That sounds yeah. like a great idea. Yeah. But these not trains happening. don't do anything, and it pisses yeah. me off they don't do anything. I mean, it's not to say that, again, if they're releasing a Pokemon game every year, you know, maybe they've got a different team on rehashes, and then maybe they've got a different team on the current thing, and so next year we get, like, a DLC or expansion or something, whatever they want to call it, and it does that, and that'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. But I mean, let's be honest. Last last time they came, they came to us with fucking what seventy three new Pokemon, like the least amount of new Pokemon that have ever existed. And I'm not one of these people who ca I don't fucking care that their names sound stupid or that they look like fucking lamps and shit like that. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's poke. It's a goddamn yeah, fantasy game. Get over your bullshit. It's like Trubbish. He looks like a garbage bag, but whatever. Yeah. So fuck it. Oh, uh, he. Uh, I mean, let me be completely honest with you right now. That's fucking amazing. It's the smartest thing I've ever seen in a video game because what they do is they go, hey guys, uh, evolution exists in the world of Pokemon and not just, oh, Char is, Charmander becomes Charmeleon. No, like they literally evolved over time to best fit their circumstances, right? A wild Pokemon gets captured and, you know, can't procreate because, I mean, unless you're one of those kinky fucking Poke perverts who likes to watch their Pokemon breed. Poke perverts. That's right. That's a new <laughs> that's a new phrase coined here on Those Gentlemen Gamers talk show Tuesday. But anyways... Poke perverts. Uh, yeah. So anyways... Uh, but Poke I mean, files. listen. Realistically... 
they they don't they don't they probably don't breed as much. So what happens? You live in an urban area and you evolve to look like trash, so that nobody comes around and fucks with you, right? So or the just predators like shit don't chemicals mess with you. happen. Like Team Rocket's nearby, they just dump a bunch of chemicals, and then you're just devolving de like Digimon into fucking cesspool garbage bags. Yeah, I mean, what? Or, <laughs> or or not the point I was trying to make, and just oh. some nonsense. Thanks, Mabi. <laughs> <laughs> Mabi. So, anyways, uh, but yeah, no. I mean, like, I read a th I read a thing on it that was talking about the evolution in Pokemon, and it talks so you, about are how you like coring around the trees now in Minecraft. Yeah, you just, yeah. That's all you're doing right now. Yeah, that's yeah, all I'm doing. So, uh, so this is this is the thing though, right? So, like, Pidgey, right? The very first normal bird Pokemon. Bird. Yeah was evolved to live in an area that was that was plain as like that had a lot of planes you know like a pigeon right he, he looked like a pigeon yeah. essentially uh, I a sparrow instead but you can go with yeah it. a sparrow okay a sparrow was had like had the markers for evolution for having to evolve a predatory nature right he wasn't getting fed by the kids around town fucking scraps of bread so spiros evolved sharper beaks and then you've got tailo meaner yeah and then you've got tailo who evolved in a in a sea area and is you know i mean aside from the actual seagull looking pokemon so like the birds at pokemon show you that like they they all probably shared a common ancestor but evolve to to better suit their circumstances. So I think oh, yeah. that's really I cool. Get you. So yeah. yeah, I have no problem with oh man, this Pokemon looks like garbage. Yeah, so that he can survive. Man, we fucking yeah, we hard we hard derailed from the topic on that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean it was Pokemon, I mean, so I'm okay with pretty it, much but... been over Mining 19 dirt minutes. With a sword. Yeah. And just so I've kinda let it twitched. go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, we can always cut stuff for the at podcast. Point, at this point, it's like none of this is into the cast. This is yeah. all after show. Yeah. So you got to stick around. Kind of shit. Yeah, you got to watch it live. So there's there's Ryan back in here again. Ryan, can you hear us now? He can probably hear us, but can we hear him? Yeah, he can, he can probably hear us, but we cannot hear him. Nope. So, anyways, uh, anybody else, real quick, for, for there, we can hear you now, Ryan. Yes, we can hear. You. Yep, I heard you. There are oh, words. There are cool words. Words. Ryan, tell us your best in show before we end the total podcast. I actually liked um, and what was it? Your mom. Uh, Bloodborne. <laughs> you liked your mom. <laughs> nice. What man. was it? Yes. Bloodborne. Yes. Oh yeah, that's Bloodborne. the one. Oh that, yeah, from software. So that, yeah, that was good. So excited dark. for that. Yeah. I hope it's just like Dark Souls, just fucking brutal hard and okay. control -y. Oh god, it's so good. I hope okay. it's like Dark Souls, but that the difficulty doesn't come from the game just fucking you up the ass because it wants to. Well, yeah, obviously next gen I hope it's not like there's no stupid fucking <laughs> I don't want homing yeah, missile attacks. In Dark Souls, you can learn every enemy path. It's just right, but there. I mean, there's. Well, what we're talking about is the cheesy ass. I'm in the air with a jump attack, and I'm following your fucking movements <laughs> attack. Like, oh, that's that's you. stupid cheesy. I mean, I have real complaints about Dark Souls that don't stem from oh, it's difficult. It stems from what the fuck? That's bullshit. Like yeah. I'm fighting a dragon and raping it, and now I go and get butt fucked by a zombie. It's like, come on. Yeah. There's got to be progression. What is that? What's that? Agreed. Make me feel powerful a little bit. That's yeah. I, oh, this is what I wanted to talk to DP about, I remember. So, uh, DP, what about... Uh, I'm not going to eat the chickens. I'm pulling them with me. What about... Eat the chickens. What about Fable? Michaela. What about Fable, DP? Oh. What do you think about the Fable multiplayer? Looks like you can use wish... Smart Glass to be a villain. I wish I uh, I wish it was available on other platforms. Is it going to be coming to? No, definitely not. Like it's, uh, it's the PC Xbox, at all? It's an Xbox. Exclusive. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be buying a I'm not gonna spending four hundred dollars for just one game. That's not gonna yeah. happen. Oh, that was another issue that I had with their Plus stupid the press Fable conference. Three, Fable Three, like kind of. Screw me over. Like I thought, Fable Three was gonna be so much more than what it was, and yeah. 
because they talked Lions had talked about how all the stuff they had planned for it and none of that stuff ever came out and then I don't know well here's the thing all right so I give them props they didn't have Peter Molyneux come out and talk about his game because let's be honest fables his baby now uh, he's not gonna make any more black and whites you know, it's fable or nothing, right? So he co he doesn't come out and talk about it because people can't trust him. Like, he's the boy who cried wolf at this point. <laughs> no, really, everybody. This time, so this time, the golden, the golden acorn. I promise. I know I've said it before, but the golden acorn. Like, like we, we no, redesigned Peter. Alvion to be completely different than the previous three stories. Let's so you have to relearn where everything is and find new roads. Yeah, let's talk about this. The last two things... Why does the world keep completely changing? What the fuck? Yeah, the last two <laughs> things that Peter Molyneux came out and talked about didn't even actually become games. Yeah. He came out and talked about yeah. Project Milo, and then he came, to ba came out and talked about the Listen, kart racing connect fair, thing. I mean, to be fair, this is some shit where... Okay, so he's he's got a mind where he wants to do things. I, I completely... Like... Ronald Reagan wanted to do things. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm saying is I, I look at Peter Molyneux and I go, you know what, he's got it in him to where he wants to do different things. And that's great. But the problem is he gets people like Microsoft behind him giving him fucking money saying, make this, make this, make this. People like it. Make this. It's the same problem with Bungie. Make this and nothing but this. Don't be creative. Make this. And he's just, he's giving these promises, but then he's got people like Microsoft behind him just going, you got to get that out there. You get... No, it needs to be fable. It needs to use Connect. Do something with the Connect. <laughs> he's like, okay, uh, what about uh, this game? Uh, like they didn't like Milo. How about something fable-wise? Okay, all right, fable on the. How about a thing like a shooter, on rail shooter? It's it's revolutionary. Nothing like it before, except for that game. Uh, what typing of the dead? Before it was typing of the dead. <laughs> of the yeah. dead. <laughs> what are you talking? about peter don't let them control you yeah. be your own man yeah well his name is now synonymous peter. with with full of shit you know <laughs> children of the future <laughs> will sad. will be on the playground and they'll be like this is the guy i saw i saw the sasquatch last night oh, you, are you giving me a load you know, of molin you back. is that what you're doing by the way i need to go back this and rewatch is... it but i was pretty sure during the entire microsoft um, e3 announcement they did not have that many connect things or many none anything at all to be honest with you. No, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not knocking on that. I understand. Yeah. I think I think they're completely moving away from it. Yeah. Uh, and you I'm, missed, you know what's right. funny? It's funny you that but that. Uh, developers were behind it. They're like, oh yeah, Connect's pretty good. You should definitely buy an Xbox One. But then as soon as the, the Microsoft says, Hey we're discontinuing this the Xbox uh, not discontinuing, but we're making a skew that does not have the Kinect. It's going to be $100 cheaper. Developers are like, oh, yeah, without the Kinect, like the, the system runs better. It's got so much more horsepower. You should definitely get the one without the Kinect. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking funny. And they yeah. were behind it until Microsoft takes it away, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's a piece of shit. Don't get that one. It's it's probably also um, made out of plastic since they just dropped its price down another $100 to $399. Uh, the first day, that was, dude... I'm continuing to remember problems I had with Microsoft's conference. Like, they came out, they had uh, they had genuine news, right, in the form of, hey, drop the price of the fucking Xbox three or Xbox One without Connect to three ninety nine. That's good news, right? Don't tell them on E three though. Don't say that on E three. <laughs> uh, they might have. It might have been in the press Ryan? conference. I missed some of the middle Ryan, stuff. Ryan, you still with us? He's still with us. He's just being polite and, and listening. Okay. There is no Ryan. Only no Zoom. Ryan anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice Ghostbusters uh, reference. Zool, motherfucker. All right. Well, we're not getting in beds yet, so I'm going to continue to run to the house. I was sleeping outside in a fucking open field. <laughs> The last time I slept in open field, I got covered in spiders. <laughs> yeah, remember that one time we were playing the uh, oh, you're the rage in the cage? Oh! Tell us some shit going on. Baby. Yeah, Minecraft. Oh my God, that's a gold armored zombie. 
All right. So, anyways, uh, you remember that rage in the cage? That was a long time I ago. I do. Yeah. yeah we, was, we, there's videos time. of it on yeah, the internet. Didn't go through because somebody fucked around all the goddamn time. What was that? Do you remember who that was? I think he means you, DP. Oh, yeah, I was in the ground, bro. I was bunkered down. Y'all were trying to find me? You couldn't find shit. <laughs> we should really bring that back. Yeah, we will. We were, uh, JR and I were playing a really cool one that was kind of fun. Yeah, I would like to play the uh, agrarian like guys. That wasn't even the, fucking uh, information, wolf. Anna. That was. <laughs> JR and I played a drink. Yeah, yeah, we played a game they one time. I play nope. games, and sometimes <laughs> they involve other things. We play video games, <laughs> and they are fun. Is it pronounced the letter V, the letter G, then the letter O? VGO games. Vinci games. Video games. Love games. <laughs> Love games. All right, so. Love games. Uh, <laughs> So anyways, I we think I think we've that. covered we everything that we're going to cover for the right? podcast. Everything else. Yes, it's a it's a mini game thing that you can load up on this server and it's really cool. Anyways, uh hey, for those of you watching vods, that's going to be <laughs> it for the <laughs> For those of you who are watching vods and things like that, that's good for the uh those gentlemen gamers talk show Tuesday. Remember Come and watch the stream live. You can you can watch us in a number of variety of ways, but uh, come and watch the stream live. You can call in like our friend DP, like our friend Lion, or Ryan, like our friend Auntie. Lion. Uh, Lion. Lion. Come on the show. Hello, Lion. Tell us what you think. And, uh, you know, stay tuned if you're watching the VOD. There will probably be another episode that's just us dicking around, talking about whatever. But uh, again, thank you very much for watching or, watching or listening to Those Gents Talk Radio Tuesday. I fucking hate you all. Not you guys, people who I'm pointing at, but you can't see that if you're listening. Which, uh, but, I mean, okay, you're pointing I mean, at me. I'm currently watching. Yeah. Well, yeah. all right. Fuck this you has gone downhill. This has gone downhill. And uh, again, we'll do this next Tuesday, 8 to 10. I, for, I didn't get enough time to squeeze in my last thing, but we'll talk about it next week. Oh, yeah. So uh, we we'll, we'll oh, yeah. see you then, Camera. guys. Up and down. All around. <laughs> Bye. All right. I'm not going to do any music <laughs> outros or anything. I'm just going to leave it as what it is. So I, I got to get out of the game real quick and stop this. Okay, we'll do it live. DP, do you want a realms yo, invite? Yo, yo, what's up, Anna? What the? Oh, you're playing Minecraft. Yeah. Do you want a realms invite? Well, yeah, don't, it's don't been a while. Builder, been no, play no I know better. I know better than playing Minecraft, you guys. Listen, we we're building a city. It's it's not anything like that, DP. We'll I will I will log in will and I will be covered yes, in lava then. all the time. Hey, you better stop talking shit. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, dog. Listen. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? All right, listen. Let me get let me get DP in this server, and then I'm gonna do something with you guys. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect Minecraft Realms. DP, what's your fucking thing again? I'm not bringing it down. I'm not bringing it down. DP, what's your thing? Is it Mission Dark Hat Fox? That's I know it's it's what.